amazing the stuff that yeah yeah i was like oh i want to do that one of our one of the vets that that helps at the volunteer place i do not no no yeah he fancies himself like a pumpkin carver so is it i've got the I've got the ass hat. I got game a commercial guy. going now. Is that? Nope. I've got. I've got not live yet. There uh, it is. Now you're live. There we go. There we go. Something's coming up. Yeah. With zero people watching. What's wrong with my computer here? Oh, yep. There they go. There they go. No picture. What's going on? Is it black on your end, too? Huh? I have no picture of you. Are you seeing? There we go. There we go. Let's sound off. Say something, Tomas. Says you ain't audible. <laughs> nope. Can't hear you. heard myself on there. Come on. Huh. How's that? Can you hear that? There we go. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, there's like a 30 second lag but yeah they got you there's a 30 second lag already oh my god welcome to twitch hello kind and gentle folk how are we doing today <laughs> rats on studios how's it going hey Raytheon. awesome that's a beautiful thing we will we will take that so i noticed that pablo and um uh, shane did uh pumpkins today everyone's doing pumpkins i think it's a little a little far out for pumpkins but you know i'm willing to pitch in so if today's pumpkin, i know it's premature punctuation but 
you know, who am I to say no? Does Pixel Logic do a pumpkin challenge pumpkin or something? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think so. You should talk to them about that. That'd be a. I think the concept. Yeah, I think the concept of them organizing anything. They spend so much time doing their development stuff, and they have so many people who actually are part of the community. If they ran organized challenges, I imagine, and I'm not speaking for them, I'm just guessing, of course. I think it's probably um, a lot of time and energy that they really don't have the staff for. It's it's a pretty small company, you know? That'd be my guess. Yeah, or just showing off like the streamers pumpkins all in a, just, yeah. Yeah, that's work. Yeah, that's once again, same thing, yeah. Yeah, it just comes All down right. to So Bill's got a question. What do you do so that whenever you rotate around, the geometry on the model reduces until you stop? Oh, you mean like this, how how that's a lower res? That's just a video card. That's what it does. Um, it, it does that automatically. It's just how It's just how ZBrush thinks. So the answer to that is nothing at all. <laughs> Shoot. What's small? Okay. Here. So, how is everyone doing this week? It's been a busy week for me. We're trying to get everything f ready for launching my site. And uh, I'll tell you what, I am not the most organized person in the world. So it is always a joy trying to get me to do anything. Um, it's uh, high stress. <laughs> For everyone else trying to get me to do things. <laughs> well, I don't think the geometry is too high. And it is. I mean, that's what it's doing. Because you don't need to see the detail when you're spinning things around, right? So it instantly goes into lower resolution. So in some ways, you're exactly right. That's what it's doing. Anyone out there? I'm just sculpting a pumpkin tonight because, well, everybody else sculpted pumpkins. So feel free to ask anything you want because obviously this is not very important to me. Um, I, I mean, I can stop it at any time. We did have one question earlier. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. Ask, is there a good brush for swirls? Um. Well, there's a swirl brush. Is that what you mean? <laughs> um, thin, thin to thick. thick. Yeah. Oh, well, um, any of the brushes, I use SK Twist Cloth or SK Cloth. And hold on, let me turn the radio off. Boop. Let's turn on XZ. And because this SK brush is um, has gravity and it has um, lazy mouse on it, you can see that it goes thin, thick, thin, right. So this is the one I use most of the time as far as that goes. But to be deadly honest, anything with lazy mouse will give you that nice, smooth, um, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. So anything with lazy mouse, for the most part, um, would be good for that. Yeah. Ooh, maybe you could make it a COVID pumpkin. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It might be too soon. <laughs> I get enough COVID in my media. Don't bring it here. I know, right? <laughs> a 
like I thought we were trying to be uh, escapist on Halloween, not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, you're supposed to dress up like the monsters. I mean, I guess. Sadly, that's not a monster. That's mismanagement. <laughs> I don't know if we need to be reminded of that. Nah. But maybe we will make a masked and unmasked version. <laughs> Which one's really scarier? Hmm. So, hello, kind and gentle folk. Thank you for joining me tonight. If anybody has any questions, do not hesitate to ask because we're just being silly and making pumpkins because the people before me made pumpkins and I feel like I, I can't be left out. So I must sculpt a pumpkin. I have FOMO on pumpkins. So would that be FOMO? <laughs> pumpkin fear missing out or would it be FOMO op FOMO op fear of missing out on pumpkins maybe that's more FOMO op and that's very important <laughs> boom, 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 boom. What's that? He's like, stop talking, please. <laughs> Me? I, I, I guess, maybe. maybe. Oh, it's going to be a long night if he stops talking. All right, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that's not going to happen, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mean to be the bear bad news for you, but that's kind of what I'm here to do. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'm not going to edit. <laughs> no editing. It's called stream of consciousness. You get the best and worst of it, sorry. <laughs> so in your uh, in your pumpkin sculpting world, do you have a favorite pumpkin sculptor? A, a favorite pumpkin sculptor? Yeah, you said there's a lot of them out there. No, I do not. I just figured you would know one, keep them with the theme, no questions. Nope. There's a tattoo artist that I've seen on Instagram that tattoos pumpkins. Yeah? And they're sick. They're absolutely wild. What's his name? Uh, oh, I couldn't tell you. I just see it every once in a while. Well, find him for me. I want to see. You're not allowed to, like, make a statement like that and leave me hanging. Yeah, you got... Now you got to go find it and post it so we can look. See? Let me review. Uh... Uh, let me go back here. In the past, I've seen people tattoo pumpkins, and it's pretty wild. Who knows who they are? Ah. Well, hmm. you got you got Paul Booth, who's a black and white artist who does horror. He would probably be one of them. Um, oh gosh, yeah, that, that just depends on what you're looking at. New school? Was it new school? Was it old? Black and white? Old school? Yeah, Jimmy has something against FOMO. I guess What's wrong so. with FOMO? <laughs> Other than it's an absurd concept. What's FOMO? Fear of... Missing out. Missing out. That's, that's often why young children won't go to sleep. <laughs> Afraid they're going to miss something. That's why people like me don't have kids. <laughs> mm. I would sadly raise my children with the iron hand of tyranny. <laughs> He's a 
Jimmy's on it tonight. I know, right? He's all over it. Why is this lag again so bad? That is really weird. Look at that lag. What is going on? Hmm. Interesting. Is dynamics turned on? Is no? I don't know. We're just laggy, laggy, laggy. I mean, we're only at half a million polys, and look at that lag. Bizarro. Absolute bizarro. I don't know that the friends have been streaming for 15 years, but if I, sadly, I only started streaming a few years ago. If I knew that I was supposed to do this, I probably would have started earlier when I lived someplace that actually had the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Who knows? I get obstinate about things. I can see getting obstinate about streaming at some point. I won't do it. You can't make me do it. But they did. They made me do it. <laughs> Oops, you know what we need to do? Duplicate. Let us go back to you. And we are going to undo some of you. Because I need to be able to hollow this out. So I want to keep that one back and separate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I remember point modeling. Ugh. Just say no. Just say no. That's crazy talk. Crazy talk. Yeah. Like, my horrible. programmer, my Ooh. programmer friend was would uh, find the back door in light wave, and he would he would drive me crazy because he would he would literally type in the points. And model oh. that way. Oh my god. I was like, what? Shoot me in the <laughs> skull. That sounds horrifying. I was like, how do you even think about that? Because he's insane. That's how <laughs> There's just no other answer but absolute nut buttery. It didn't come out looking good, but it, but he could do it. <laughs> well, he didn't have the best part. But he had the coordinates in his head. 
I don't know if I could do that without losing my mind, honestly. Well, I'm implying that I haven't lost my mind there, aren't I? That might be a broad assumption. A broad assumption. Henry, you got any questions you can think of? I no. want. I want to know why Tomas is drawing on the pumpkin. <laughs> Did you see their pumpkins? Their pumpkins weren't just cut out. Go look at that preview. I am abiding by the rules that have been preset for me. Shane's was he? Well, he cut the mouth in at least. I don't remember what the rest of it looked like. Mm -hmm. Don't give me that. <laughs> No, no, no. I will not be held to different standards. <laughs> Just because I'm a realist doesn't mean I have to abide by it. <laughs> I gotta go look at the. Don't even, don't even try to pretend that they were like that. I'm, I'm gonna just no. It's not true. <laughs> I can't even get back to them now. That's funny. You blocked them out, Thomas. They're on Pixelogic's YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can get the. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, sure. Michael's was entirely carved in. Oh, I no, it was not. Shane's Shane's was not. No. I'm calling BS on that. Shane's was done in the style of uh of um hang on here i gotta get to youtube now you got me hey i'm just i'm just getting stuff in place <laughs> oh, i see what michael did what did michael do he he just made a pumpkin and then did a mask of what um where the face was it's kind of mm -hmm. like a traditional pumpkin when you print out a, a template oh. or whatever and then and then mark it mm -hmm. uh, and then he booleaned it what do you call that extract he mm -hmm. extracted it and then made it longer and booleaned it out of the pumpkin ah well, i'm just i'm just changing the shape of my pumpkin a little i mean <laughs> this is how i I sculpted my pumpkins out like this. I'd use my sculpting tools and I would just dig, you know, get real thick skinned pumpkins mm -hmm. and just sculpt into them. Yeah. Yep. And, That's what I do with clay carving tools. Yeah. But it falls apart so fast after you're finished. It well, it does get mucky very quickly. Yeah. Yes. I've There's... never had the, the patience to even try that, man. That is awesome. Oh yeah, no, that's when we used to have the Halloween party at the homestead. We'd come out like two days in advance and just carve, because we have a pumpkin patch. We didn't really plant pumpkins this year, but there's a pumpkin patch in there, and uh, we just come in. You know, we do all the weird hard gourds and all of that as well, and uh, it was cool. Because we'd sit there and just sculpt and sculpt and sculpt. And we have like this pole that's out in the middle of the yard and we'd stack them all on top of one another. So we had a, a like a totem pole of of Jack oh, cool. O'Lanterns. That's cool. We got someone asking, what changes have you made to your clay toothbrush? I am interested to know. Really, the only thing I've done is um, turn Lazy Mouse on. Make your lazy step 0. 0.0003. Lazy smooth is 8. Roll distance is 10. My lady, lazy radius is 30. And then I just turned lazy mouse off. And that gives me the um, that gives me the smooth stroke where it's not chattery at all. Yeah, dremels do work good. <laughs> but you have to be careful with it. you need to get good um wow look at that lag 
It's yeah, it's on there. That is weird. I wonder why I'm so laggy. I think OBS is acting weird again. For a while there, about a year ago, OBS would just get like, I'd do this and the stroke would follow like three weeks later. It's just like, oh my God, what are you doing, OBS? I'm going to blame OBS. You know, I, I have not. Um, well, that's not quite true. There's... There was one, I can't remember what it was called, but it was almost like you were painting with ribbons and you could do like fire and stuff, but it wasn't really sculpting. It was really just laying down all these ribbons. And I mean, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's cool, but I mean, it's a worthless sculpting tool, but it was well worth the entertainment. But I mean, that was. It's called Tilt Brush. Yeah, you're right. Tilt brush. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was the one. Yeah, I have that for my Vive. Oh, and, you know, it's cool. it's fun. But, I mean, as far as a sculpting tool goes, it's garbage. Or it was then. I mean, it's been a long time. Is but that, I haven't tried it in a while. Okay. Yeah, it's still it's still a thing. And you can export STLs from it now, I think. Really? But they're, but they're wild because you're, you're right. You're painting in ribbons, and the ribbons are just like nothing solid. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, that's cool. And... Um, we were at a festival and someone had it set up in this big room and they had uh, projectors and they were like projecting it onto oh, cool. the different walls so while you were doing it people were in the environment and oh, that's so cool. in the middle so when we did um, the millennial new year we did uh, a festival on Mount Fuji and we had these um, uh, huge weather balloons that had projection smoke or projection gas in it. So it had reflective particles in it. And um, you'd project up into it. So it almost looked like a hologram. It was really neat. Um, and that was cool, but I've yet to really see that immersive experience be something that someone else can share you know um but i to be deadly honest i know so little about it i've a friend of ours worked for oculus for a while and he said they were actually coming up with stuff that was pretty rad but i hate to say it things that are pretty rad for uh um programmers isn't always really rad for a sculptor <laughs> they're like yeah. look how cool this is and you're like <laughs> Play-Doh play is cooler than that. <laughs> it's like, so, you know, I think sometimes developers get very excited about what they're doing. And without a question, they should. You know, they're doing very cool stuff. But then they're like, oh, yeah, no, this is just like clay. And you're like, you've first of all, you've obviously never touched clay. You know, second of all, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, my buddy let me play with his just recently and it's I don't know if it's the same thing but it's now it's like you're sculpting with spray foam you know it just goops up I mean that was the tool I was using and I was like well this is alright and then he goes yeah it's going to get better Adobe just bought it so <laughs> very powerful Jimmy's okay. asking, hey, Thomas, you ever looked up Indian jewelry? I find it overwhelmingly. Um, I've, I've actually, I worked for, um, I worked for a uh, Indian company for a little while. It's interesting. It's, it's cool stuff. Um, is this him? You looking up Jazza? I don't know. Is that what? Yeah. I'm not really seeing sculpting going on here. Hey, uh, look at look at it on YouTube. I can post a link. Okay. I'm a big fan of Jazza. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, uh, he's he's one of the people that hopefully we get into your program. Um, he uses not tilt brush, a different one, 
Um, but he just he just did a series where he's trying to make his own um, Warhammer 40k style models in the VR. Oh, but wow. he's doing it entirely in VR, and it just looks like hell. <laughs> An absolute effing nightmare. I mean, it makes for a fun video, but oof. yeah, oh. uh, that's my problem. Yeah, That's my... like if somebody could teach him ZBrush, he would be in a whole different world. Cool. I'm more than willing to talk to him. Did you send me a link? Uh, I'm working on finding one of the VR videos. Um, see, that's my thing with VR as a sculpting tool is that for the most part, it's a garbage sculpting tool. Um, you know, it's a, it's a cool toy, you know, and it's fun. But I've yet to see anything that would make it where it's actually a viable tool. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Um, oh, yeah, this guy. OK. Yeah, he did pretty good with his his space green. For what it was, yeah. Jazza, yeah. Come on. Oh, he printed it out. Yeah. Uh, that's cute. I just posted one where he makes a zombie hand from, he goes from VR to 3D print in the video. Oh, cool. So he's not VRing here. He's just sculpting. Yeah, that oh, no, video. He no, no, that's that's a print off of his VR model. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, what's he? Oh my God, you're trying to sculpt with something that's attached to. So you're sculpting like this. Yeah, that's your sculpt right there. It's mostly yeah. Boolean operations. Oh, that sounds like a right nightmare. Hmm. <laughs> So for, for what he did, he did all right. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Just being that disassociated from my tool and the surface, I think that would make me absolutely insane. So did he sculpt the base model? This is him sculpting the base model, huh? Yeah, he sculpted from, from zero to done. So it's like gloop. So it's like just applying yeah. gloop on... Interesting. Yeah. Now there's a G. There's a, a genomen workshop that a guy uses it for roughing out. Um, he does his rough silhouettes out of like whatever he's doing, spaceships, models, or whatever, and then he and then he brings it into ZBrush after he's got a. But he does a whole bunch of thumbnails just to get forms and silhouettes. I mean, it's interesting, but it's just like sculpting with a baseball bat. You know what I mean? It's like, that's kind of interesting. It'd be fun to play with. Yeah, see, there it is. Like I said, it looks like it's gooping on. It's like I said, you're drawing with that, that expansive foam, basically. Like, nah, 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 nah. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, what did he sculpt? Yeah, once again, I think it's, kind of a it's a cool uh it's a cool toy i don't not saying i wouldn't be interested in seeing it develop i'm a lot more interested in that stuff with the oculus or whatever the, whatever what do you call them like the VR headsets or whatever. Yeah, um, Oculus Five. Yeah, I, I'm more interested in their capacity for eye tracing or eye tracking because I really want to get um, eye tracking. So when I teach, I can get my students to actually understand how you can control how the eye travels on an object. And you can do that with a webcam. 
Yeah, not as good. The um, the eye tracking software that really does good eye tracking has you can't really change your positions. Like they really have your head set in a rig, and I guess the eyewear is doing it where um, you can get it because like that'll it'll actually take your pulse and pay attention to your dilation. Um, so you can actually detect emotional triggers and emotional responses from things. And uh, I want to experiment with that a little because, I mean, think about being able to detect or get, you know, emotional responses from designs. You would be like your capacity for, uh, for designing very, uh, I mean, just think if you can get a bride's emotional response in an engagement ring, you know, it's like, that's crazy talk. Mm. I find that concept pretty compelling because they're they're using it with shopping, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's they what cheat enough. Well, that's where eye tracking software is getting its, you know, it's all marketing stuff for the most part where the money's at. Right. Um I mean everybody can move their pumpkin like that, right? <laughs> You just cut off a different part of the pumpkin and glue it on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, don't laugh. I've, I've been known to do weirder things. <laughs> I'm sure, but this is, again, Pixel Logic stream. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, and that's why we're doing it this way. <laughs> and in this state of mind. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> yeah, Shane's is very much a video game oriented. Action. Oh, don't be. No, no, no. Don't be making excuses for him. He had his time. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just, I just cut to the end. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it's more of a WoW styled. You know, no, I'm, Warcraft styled and, I'm totally kidding. I am just totally kidding. I just, I just and his was an excellent pumpkin. It was. It was a very excellent pumpkin. Mine's just better. No. <laughs> uh, Have you ever seen his pumpkins he carves? Who, Shane's? No, Villa Fane. Villa Fane's hand? Cat's asking. Pumpkins I carved or Shane carved? Or are you someone talking about else? someone else? I think someone else named Villafane. Oh, actually, you know, that sounds really familiar. Um, Let's go look him up. Yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy's got a, uh, I think this is the guy that's got the website. Yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, he's and, also got a video, I think, that you can buy how to how to do this or something well this is what i did with pumpkins that's how we carved them i didn't go through and set up scenes but this is what we did with all of them we'd sculpt them out and i like his potatoes that's kind of cool yeah this is the guy i was gonna i was gonna buy this just so i could learn how to do this the dvd set and then he's got professional pumpkin carving tools you can buy well i just have really good wood carving tools and that does it but he's he's good at fun expressions he did a bunch of weird little um i think they were originally done in sculpey if i'm not mistaken where they were just cool little faces he does cool little characters you know yeah pumpkin products no, oh, that's interesting. He sells stems so you can cork them in. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, he's just using clay tubes. 
or clay tools. I assure you, my tools are a lot sharper than those. I have I have loop tools that are dangerous. I actually got fined by Universal Studios because I kept getting uh, sculptors kept taking my sculpting tools out of my toolbox, and my oh. and I made mine out of incredibly good steel. And I sharpened them to because a sharper sculpting tool is just a better sculpting tool, you know. And uh, ding dongs would keep taking my sculpting tools and chopping the living hajibas out of themselves. And then I got uh, fined by the safety agent at Universal Studios because they warned me about it. And I'm like, look, they're my my personal tools. You know, I can't keep them from taking them. They were like, well, you need to lock them up or something. I was like, okay, and. I thought I had and someone got into him and she took a scoop that was about that deep, you know, a V-shaped scoop about that deep and about that long out of her leg. Floop. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Hate to be the bear bad news, but put that tool down, ding dong. <laughs> yeah. You can't stop someone from being an idiot no matter what. Well, they don't find a way. I could have lock my tools up a little better I guess <laughs> let's put it this way no one got my tools without asking me thereafter <laughs> turns into the the uh, Hamlet scene and uh, was it yeah uh, the Shakespearean scene they do in fa Adam's family where they're just bleeding everywhere yeah that was funny <laughs> arterial spray yeah it was a very cute film. It was incredibly well cast. Stop it. That, that was at the uh, entrance on the uh, Hollywood Cafe in Caesars was the Wednesday that was painted the same as the wall from, from Scoob. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would just go there and, and sit there and look at it for hours. Just like... <laughs> you better be careful. People think you're a creeper. <laughs> it's Vegas. He might be. Fair enough. <laughs> You're sitting there with a drink in your hand, they're not going to bother you. Fair enough. That's true, too. Yes, yeah, so for those of you just joining us, we're just sculpting pumpkins because, well, everybody else sculpted pumpkins today, so I wasn't going to be left out on the pumpkin train. You know, I think I still think it's a little early for pumpkins, but I guess they're doing black friday yesterday or whatever <laughs> it's, uh -oh. hold on what was that let me decide for each file are they exactly the same nope we're going to take both sets of files boom boom keep them all continue transferring files off this machine because i'm redlining it as far as memory goes What happened? I don't know. Oh, he posted, Jimmy posted a picture with the, on uh, the Discord with uh, Thomas the Tank hmm. engines with our names over them. We've become meme. Well, you've seen my Thomas the Tank renderings, haven't you? Yep. Well, we have. I don't know yeah, we don't have. know if they have, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was my, they had just introduced Z Modeler and that was my beta. I did some jewelry stuff and then I did a Tomas the Tank. 
My friend made me a t-shirt that's Tomas the Tank. And hold on. Where are you? Dropbox. Pixelogic. Mm, beta images and videos. Maybe not. Uh, someone is asking, is anyone else finding 2021 a little buggy? Eh, everything's buggy. I don't even... I blow things up all the time only because I'm very abusive to... Um, I'm very abusive to my uh, machine. Yeah, there you go. It's Tomas the Tank. And that was all built in Z Modeler. <laughs> That's a good Panzer model. I based it off schematics. It should be pretty darn close to real. Except I only printed it that big. <laughs> Ooh, what happened to ZBrush? There it is. Good old Panzer twos, you gotta love them. Great tank design. Horrible people, good tanks. Yeah, love the tanks. <laughs> Not a movement I could get behind. Unless I was like pushing it off a plane or something. <laughs> so you hear those noises, Mike? That I was just uh, making? That's what yeah. your fan sounds like sometimes. It's like... <laughs> that's why it's... Well, that's why it's so uh, kind of disorienting because we're all just like wait a minute who's making like wispy <laughs> the fan pretending to be a fan that was awesome Henry because <laughs> it doesn't sound like a fan it sounds like someone pretending to be a fan <laughs> see you Jimmy got a class to go to yeah you be safe out there learn something learning's important what tomas the tank it is on the t-shirt actually one sec i wonder if it's still up there uh red bubble Tomas the Tank, man. Yeah, see, it even says it right there. Tomas the Tank. Woo! <laughs> this is the other one I just absolutely love. Is I'm the original unicorn. Dave has some good t-shirts. Huh. Isn't that hysterical? I like that one. He needs... I need, he needs to make sure I can get this in stickers. I'll put these all over my suitcases. <laughs> I 
mag then. Well then, let's go to sticker. Can I still get t-shirts? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I completely approve. Look at all those people wearing me. <laughs> Stickers. I need some. There you go. I need to get a few of those for my, my suitcases. Yeah. So Jimmy, actually, the person I just showed you, that's the person um, uh, you need to talk to about your portfolio stuff for CalArts because he's a lot more in the know about what they would want, even though none of us have had anything to do with CalArts in a long time. It's really sad. I really should be a little bit more in touch with my alma mater. I got a couple sweatshirts. reached out and had a big alma mater clothing sale. I was like, yeah, boy, get a Callard sweatshirt. Hmm. So for anyone out there who actually has questions about real things, not pumpkins, well, I mean, if you have questions about pumpkins, I'll answer those too, I guess. I won't be question elitist here. No. I haven't used V-Ray since Rhino. Well, since Matrix. Um, I'm a lousy renderer, so I don't pay a lot of attention to rendering. Ooh, you know, we do have to make some rendering videos, guys. Do we have that anywhere in there? It's in the outline. Okay, good. I'm not I'm really... Not Monday. Yeah. I think you know a guy. So. <laughs> I think I know someone who knows someone who might be able to get that done. <laughs> no, you can always call the A-team. Does doom, the A-team doom. have key shot? What's that? I'm asking Mike, does the A-team own key shot? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm, I'm sure he does. I'm, I'm referring to the, our, our buddy. <laughs> um, I've, I've are, got the money saved up for key shot. Um, okay, are you talking about Eric? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay, we do. I thought you were talking about yourself. Oh, no, I, I, I just got the <laughs> money. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just went hawk some stuff to get the money so I could get it, but yeah. <laughs> wow, that was kind of harsh. <laughs> hey, expensive. Yeah. It's only like 400 bucks. When you don't have a job. <laughs> well, but I mean, compared to other, I mean, like if you just yeah. buy it without the ZBrush thing, it's like almost 2,200 bucks, I think. Yeah, I great. guess with yeah. for just the ZBrush version, it's pretty affordable. But the ZBrush yeah. version is the full version. It just, yeah. It's I mean, the yeah. vendors from ZBrush. Yeah, right. they just cut a deal with them. No, it's a great deal as far as um, the price of the program with the ZBrush bridge and all that. Right. Because I think the the pro version or the what are the the high de I don't know what I can't remember what the versions are called. Yeah, the bigger version is like four hundred something dollars. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I only paid like got, 400 you, bucks for it. Yeah, then you got to buy the bridge, which is another 150 ish dollars. So, yeah. I think I have like three copies of the bridge. <laughs> uh, we're not going to go into why I have so many copies of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I have I, I had the money set aside for the form, and I could have taken the money out of that by, you know. Don't so. you dare. Yeah, exactly. I'm not touching it. That money is for my form. <laughs> now, if you had enough money for Pablo's class, on the other hand, I might have to say, spend that money. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
and next week I'll have enough money for Pablo's class as well. So, yeah. Because <laughs> I think we should just take a bunch of characters that I've done and just make silly t-shirts. Because yeah. swag. Swag sells. Everybody likes swag. Oh, does Decimation Master get stuck at 4 million polys, or is it just me? Uh, that's probably you. Um, when you say get stuck, you mean does it um, does it lag out or something? It sh you shouldn't have any problems with that. That's probably something to do with your processing. It says it just hangs. Yeah, it's your processor. Because I, I decimated a 52 million poly dinosaur the other day, so it doesn't have any problems with four mil. And what's kind of cool is that uh, Decimation Master is actually a 64-bit plug-in. So you're getting um, full usage of your 64-bit operating system. Yeah. Always nice to know. Yeah. Henry, do you have, do you have Keyshot? Now, I'm looking at it right now. I've been afraid to buy it because I'm afraid I'm going to buy the wrong thing. Yeah. That's In what context? Yeah. Uh, like, do I also need the bridge? If So I see Keyshot 9 for ZBrush Pro, Windows and Mac, $400. And then right above that, I see the bridge. You need the bridge, yeah. You need the bridge. Because what the bridge allows you to do is come in here under Render. And if you go External Renderer, you just hit Keyshot. And that way, yeah. when you hit BPR, it dumps it right into Keyshot. So why would you ever buy Keyshot 9 for ZBrush Pro for $400 and not buy the bridge? Why are they sold separately? Does Keyshot 9 for ZBrush Pro come with the bridge? No, that's the, the whole point. Only for people? The bridge, well, it's sold separately because the bridge is coming from Pixelogic. The key shots coming from key shot. Key shot has nothing to do with the bridge. Key shot sells the bridge. Well, yeah. it, it's a link to Pixel Logic. I guarantee you. Yeah, it's an affiliated link. Hey, you want to post that link? I don't have that link. So, Amazing. So I idea. have to buy both. Yes. yes. I see. I don't believe you. Yeah, okay. Because well. it allow. Yeah, it'll allow you to go. You can. I mean, okay. Let me, so let me, are, are you asking, can you rewrite the bridge yourself? That's something no. I don't know about. No, I think Keyshot 9 for ZBrush comes with the bridge. Uh, and I think no. the only reason to buy the bridge is if you own a full version of Keyshot and you need to get it to go straight from ZBrush to Keyshot. That's something I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, every time I've called, because I, I was doing the same thing, Every time I've called Pixelogic about it, they're like, no, you, you need this. You need it to make it work properly. And that's where they're like, but aside from that, it's Why would they sell it without the bridge then? Because the money for the bridge goes to Pixelogic. The money for Keyshot goes to Keyshot. Yeah. They're completely different accounting. I don't like it. You don't, you don't like it? We're about to find out. <laughs> Are you getting it? Oh, I think, you. <laughs> I think I might. Good for you, sir. Yeah. I mean, still, I mean, if you pay for Pro and you pay for that, you are still. You're saving thousands. Yeah, you're saving thousands of dollars. Yeah, $2,500 on just the one program. So, I mean, it, yeah. Because I went through that conundrum in Shane's class because I was like, okay, I only want to get the things I need to get. What do I need to get? And there was always there's this great debate about using Keyshot. You know, I was asking Shane, hey, do I need Keyshot for your class? Because this is what's on there. He doesn't. And he uses that other one, doesn't he? Like Marmoset or uh, well, Surface. Uses, yeah, there's Marmoset. There's surf, uh, Sub uh, Sub Painter or Surface Painter. Surface or Painter, yeah, or something. Yeah. Like that. Um, and and Keyshot. Well, those are the three he started with because Marmoset does one thing. Substance Painter is for painting on your your maps, and then you render it out in that. But Marmoset will also render, but Keyshot is still the better renderer. 
Marmoset is a better, uh, uh, it does something better like, um, like textures or baked maps or uh, something like that. Retopogging, retopogging and substance painter is, is the, is the best painter program for that. Um, so, and, and then he started like, you know, and you always get people in the class that want to, don't want to spend the money on it. So they're always like, go to blender, do this. You could try this. This one's for free or whatever. Um, so I never, you can never get one. And then Shane starts looking into the other programs for that. So what I found out in my travels is that, okay, if you want to render out for low end games, um, not triple A games, but game companies that are not triple A, um, blender render will fine. Um, if you're doing anything above for true, if you're trying to, if you're trying to hit triple A in your portfolio, you go with you go with Keyshot. That's the same thing like uh, AAA games use ZBrush, where lower houses will use Blender, but Blender is not capable of doing the high res stuff that no. that uh, that ZBrush is. No. So if you're shooting for portfolios, you can't cheap out. You have to get the things that the industry standard uses because that's what they're looking at because that's what they want to hire you on. You know. Well, Specky, I'll tell you what, my friend. I've never even opened. Uh, I don't. I've never opened Marmoset, so I have no clue what they do. I can't remember exactly what he uses it for. It's been a while, but you know, I, I know that. While, but Marmoset is in there. I know that Joe uses Substance Painter, or isn't that what it's called, Substance Painter? Yeah. Uh, he uses that a lot. Um, yeah. Because he writes a lot of scripts for that, but. You know, once again, I'd... getting me to render at all is tricky. I'm not a big renderer fan. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Rendering's wonderful, but... Yeah, if you look, if you watch the sirloin stuff, he, he goes and uses something to reach the pocket. I could have swore it was Marmoset. The Marmoset is in there. It's in his workflow. To teaching you how to build a game ready asset character. Sure. So, yeah. You know what I'm probably never going to do? Build a game ready asset character. Yeah, because <laughs> I've done a few things for a few video games that I'm actually I'm not allowed to talk about. But uh I I was like, I'll do it, but I'm not prepping the model. You know, I'll give you a an STL, I'll give you an OBJ, I'll give you the, you know, I'll give you the ZT, ZPR, but I'm not skinning or any of that shit. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, and they, him. and they accepted that. They did yeah. it for me. And he might have used a farmer set to um, make it ready for like, so if you go on people's art station accounts and they are trying to hit that demographic for their portfolio, they will it will render it will render out something that you can put on your art station that you can click on it and it will break down here's the model here's the maps here's the yeah so map. and that's what that does yeah i have um the art station pro or whatever and, and they were like marmoset integration i was like oh that'd be cool and i looked at it for like six seconds i was like i have no idea what any of that means so i don't think i'm integrating with Marmoset to my art station. Even though it'd be nice to have three-dimensional things in there, I think that'd be cool. Right. But I don't have that capacity, and I surely don't have the time to figure it out right now. So Henry, are you buying it? Still researching. Ah. Still have it oh, I see. So what Marmoset does is it takes the model and the textures and everything you have in the model, and it emulates real game resolutions and performance. Yeah, Is that what you? All on there. Yeah. That's cool. I thought it was a preview. I thought there was a preview part of it where. It, yeah, it's used for baking. That's what it was. It bakes all the materials onto the model for the game. That's what it, I think. That's what he defined it as. It's been a while. I <laughs> have not paid attention. And you can get a perpetual account for that substance painter on stream for half the price of paying 
their current prices on their website. But if it's, you, it's also it's also their license. It's just through Stream, uh, Steam. Oh, through Steam. Yeah, through Steam, you, you get Substance Painter, Marmoset. They're in my wish list. And, wow. Yeah, they're they're not the perpetual license through them is not that bad if you're going that route. Yeah, probably something I don't need. Yeah, you don't need it. It it, it is it is not pertinent to your workflow. But for those people out there that want to do that, it's... it's oh, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. there are people out there that want to do that. I'm not one of them. <laughs> Me trying to... I did stop motion for a while. And... Um, I did it physically, not in the computer. But on uh, on uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, we sculpted all the little faces separately. That was kind of fun. You sculpted yeah. all the expressions. That was neat. That was a good fun. Yeah, I remember the behind the scenes where they showed like the suitcase and they would open up and it would have just nothing but jackheads and different. Yeah, the um, different vocal yeah. expressions and stuff. They had really they had really cool software where um, you would program in you would tell like. You know the the phonics, so it's fa ah u e ah. You know you do every vowel consonant set, and they had a thing where the song would play, and it would break the song up into um, or the dialogue. You know um, would break it up into um, like it would say oh my friend. So you know you need it o m i m r n. And it would play it, and then it would print out the X sheets based on the phonic breakout of the words. So that was cool. That was one of the neatest things I've seen. Well, at the time, it was very, very neat. <laughs> You're like, what? Because it just printed your X sheets, and that's awesome. Because well, then you just lined up the phonic faces, and you like, doot, doot, doot. Yep. And well, that, that is cool. no one had to sit there and figure out the face orders it was it would just say okay for sh for frame 20 through 24 25 you use the face you know and right. blah 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 it was cool yeah. you'd have a guy by the recorder hitting the backwards forwards backwards forwards that's an f and then yeah. another guy over there by the thing pulling out or making the note <laughs> someone's asking have you ever looked at last one Lost it. Moved on me. Sorry. Did I ever look, look at what? Sketch, sketch fab. The marmoset and gradient art station is essentially the same thing. Oh, yeah. Sketch I, fab is just the marmoset kind of thing is what he's telling us. No, I haven't. I, I Like I said, I haven't. Sadly, I put stuff up on my art station. That's one of the things we're going to have to um, populate here at some point because uh, I haven't been very responsible with my social media. And um, we're going to have to uh, go through. I have terabytes of pictures of stuff, and we're going to have to go through and really update a lot of that so our social media starts working for us as opposed to not. Not. Because some of my students, I, I laugh, one of my students has like 46,000 followers, and I'm just like, what the hell? And it's because he actually posts, you know, I mean, he, he does a very good job of it. It's impressive. A little bit of traction goes a long way and then it just builds. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, Nightmare Free for Christmas was a good one. So what other stop motions did you work on? Did you work on James Giant Peach? I never made it that far. I, when we were in San Francisco, I decided to stay in San Francisco because I liked it. And we were like, oh, yeah, it's going to happen. It was like three years later. It was like, no, I'm, <laughs> no, no, sadly. 
did a lot of stop motion at school. So were the maquettes in that? Were they mechanical machine maquettes underneath them, or were they wiry kind of thing? Oh no, it was all machined, um, machined um, stop motion armatures. Right. I wanted one of those for the longest time. Those are so cool. They're beautiful. Good ones yeah. are really sexy. Yeah. Oh yeah. They are we, definitely cool. Yeah, I remember you like in the back of Starlog or uh, the cinema, the, the little industry Cinefax. The Cinefax, yeah, of course. Yeah, you could you could always look back there and see the ads to buy them before the internet. You're like, oh, and then you can't find out they're like two grand for a little one. Like, oh, yeah, no, they're not cheap because they are yeah. literally well, especially back then they were hand machined. Right. I mean, they're yeah, still. Nah. I think you can get them in that two to four hundred range now. Pretty nice ones. It's not bad. I think there was a company that made them. I mean, these are cheap ones, but they're. 40 50 bucks Ooh, uh. and I mean you know that's really no big dramatic difference than what we actually that's a beautiful that's a beautiful armature honestly I mean for 59 oh, 168 bucks but still that's nothing Nope, that's it. I mean, that's that's a professional armature. Yeah, for 150 bucks, man, that's... Yep, that's nothing to sneeze at. It's a good deal. These are like 34 bucks. in the day <coughs> yeah cool 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 you made a lot of armor See, that's what I wanted the kit you just build it yourself <laughs> well there you go you can get it from AliExpress for $34.95 mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> You're not sculpting if you're not making noises. That's hysterical. It's very true. You're just not trying. I think it'd be fun to make that Pablo has the pho non photorealistic class that's really very Mobius y. Oh, who does? That's the class that. Oh, that I'm going to take, yeah. Yeah, that Pablo has. And it's awesome. And he, you know, it's set up in the, the non photorealistic style is very, very Mobius y. Yeah. And, uh, that's Mobius is one of my heroes, as you will soon see in a video coming to a store near you. No, <laughs> um, but I just think making t shirts, I, I have some pretty good stuff that would look good in. I think the Clappy Monkeys would be very popular shirts. <laughs> I know I want like three or four of them. <laughs> My 
portrait of our, our president would do very well, but sadly, I, I can't put that out there. I refuse to get into politics. I want to teach everyone. But we could sell it under Mikey's name. <laughs> yeah. Except you'd probably get burned out. Your neighbors would find out. They'd come huh. after you. I live in a brick house made of bricks. There's no wood in these walls. It's all cement. There you go. You know how hard it is to hang a picture in this place? <laughs> it's an all-day job. You just need a, one of those little hammer drills. Yeah. Well, they were doing, they were doing pumpkins. I thought it was only fair for me to do a pumpkin. Don't you agree? I'm just saying. Everybody else gets to do monsters, and I'm always doing jewelry stuff. And people look at my jewelry stuff and just go away because they don't even know what the hell I'm doing, so they don't even bother staying around. So when everybody's doing pumpkins, I'm going to do some pumpkins. I'm just saying. Wonderland Dream is saying they should make ZBrush make a scraping sound when you're using it. That'd be funny. Well... Actually, if you listen to my videos that I'm making for my education platform, uh, you can hear my uh, my brush strokes. <laughs> yeah, your Wacom will make the noise for you. Yeah. Especially if you're using a felt tip. Ooh. Hold on, here we go. Can you hear? Yeah, see? Huh. My microphone at home is much more sensitive than this one. So you uh, you definitely can hear my brush strokes while I'm working. You can hear my keystrokes because I have really clacky keyboards. And actually, that's the quiet keyboard. That's the red, not the blue keys. You can choose. Oh, well, you have a few keyboards. Yeah. I know I'm such a good whistler. I know everyone is completely compelled by my whistling skills. I guess those aren't technically whistling, is it? It's <laughs> See, that was supposed to go down. I'm not a very good whistler. <laughs> ah. I love that movie. That was almost a perfect film. There are a few of them out there where you're like, yep. Yeah. That's the soundtrack to Brazil. Oh, I want to see that movie. I haven't seen it in so long that I Brazil. forgot what it was. It's awesome sauce is what it is. Awesome sauce. Terry Gilliam is just gushy. He is so awesome. He is a fantastic filmmaker. And for all those people who ask me, hey, what alpha do you use? <laughs> I don't. I make bumps and then I rub on them and then I make other bumps and rub on them and it's an arduous task sometimes.
think Henry's going down the rendering hole. That's okay. Yeah. Could be worse. Hey, he'll, he'll figure it out for us. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> He's like, I think we have someone who knows how to render. <laughs> That's still your assignment, Mike. Whether I own it or not, mm -mm. you're doing the damn work. <laughs> He's like, no chance. He's like, I got, I got real things to do over here. Yeah, yeah, I got more important stuff to do than just to make something pretty. He's like, like I'm doing something that no one else on this team is doing. That's for sure. <laughs> right, right, right. No worries, man. That's I, I fully, I fully embrace that. I just figured you were researching because I thought you were gonna. You were looking into getting it. So I just see the conversation with Eric going on over there, and I'm like, oh, dear God. He's uh, named like I, three or four. I did. I just bought Keyshot. Um, did and you? The, uh, and the bridge. You were right. You need both. I thought so. So the grand total, if you don't mind me asking, so I know how much I'm going to take a punch in the. 580 sack. is my guess. 550. Oh, it's so close. There you go. There you go. Oh, well, that's sandwich money, man. That's that's my that's my sandwich money, my daily sandwich money. So. Wow, you eat some <laughs> expensive damn sandwiches, dude. That's right. <laughs> Let me tell you, they got the gold leaf on it. That ain't cheap. No, nope. that isn't cheap. That's for sure. Oh, cat's wanting to know where to get key shot at. Hang on, cat. Is it a perpetual license? What's well, I mean, you own the product, but they it, have... It is until it's Keyshot 10, and then I'd have to upgrade. Right, exactly. They right. You, they give you free upgrades until it's a a number change. And then I think it's only, it's only 300 level. bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible, if I remember correctly. How much was the upgrade? Like 300? Um, I can't months. remember. I can't remember. Because, yeah, I was, yeah, when I was researching, I'm like, oh, so I'm going to get stuck every time they do an upgrade. But you can. I mean, you can still use it, not upgrade it. Yeah, you can still use it, not upgrade it. So that was like, you know, you get it once. It should do everything you, you need it to do if you're just doing a product shot or a, a beauty shot or something like that. You know? I mean, sometimes they come out with some cool stuff like this light. The latest update came out with. Um, some really cool fabric rendering stuff. Oh yeah. Keyshot renders fabrics beautifully now. It does it has some really cool they're almost like fiber brushes, you know? Yeah. Um oh, it's cool. yeah. It's cool. It's cute. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna get a marvelous designer for, for cloth hanging stuff. Now it's another one that you got to look into. But then ZBrush came out with the fold with their brushes and their their clothing. It's cool, but yeah. I'll tell you what. I mean, for me, I would love to have a copy of Marvelous because. Uh, it's well, I was a tailor. I know flat pattern making, yeah. and so I could just lay it out as flat patterns. You know, I could use my pattern making skills, and yeah. actually create you know pattern stuff. And then knowing that I could take anything I designed through patterning and uh, get it to be a sculpt is awesome. Yeah, and Sakaki, that's what he uses. His, uh, the latest thing he's showing, he has this beautiful skirt, um, pleated skirt that's flapping in the wind as the girl turns. Uh -huh. And uh, that's where he started off. He did he, he did the clothes in Marvelous, brought them over, and then, and, and then reached Pogged and, and fixed them for print and everything. Yeah, but I mean the skirt is just beautiful. It is breathtaking to look at him like, dang. He's he's an impressive dude. Yeah. Um. He just has a really nice touch. He has a really nice touch. Yeah, and then you know, if you look at his stuff and go on his Instagram or whatever, he 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 prints off, you know, some either his company or a company will print off a life size print off of yeah they're the, cool aren't they yeah they are <laughs> yeah i'm like now that's that's a good one <laughs> one of the creatures i've done i'd love to get a lifetime print of him because from the front he's a little weird but in the back it's all this uh, 
like there are like three faces in his back and it's it's a neat sculpture i like it someone's uh kate cat is a cat cat's asking do you know if pixel logics upgrades a single user license to a business with more workstations than two uh, well you can yeah you can get one that has um you can get one that has a floating license or you can buy uh one that has like that has x amount of seats in it i don't know how it works exactly but you know a studio can buy um you know where you have enough seats for the studio i don't know if you just buy that many different seats or if like there's a discount if you buy you know let's say 10 of them or something i i I buy things for myself sadly i'm not i'm not at the point of buying things for other people yet raython studio says he has a copy of md didn't use it uh didn't use it enough for what he paid <laughs> yeah i guess um i mean the thing is is that like i like i said i'm i used to do like I was a tailor, like I used to uh, do flat, flat modeling and draping and stuff. And I just thought it'd be super fun to work on. Yeah, there's, uh, it's, it's got a great engineer. I mean, I watched, there's, someone has a class that they incorporated in there and he flips around the scarf and uh, to simulate, you know, like he has the, qualities of wind blown this way or whatever and it, it just flows great and i'm like wow this is you know a pretty cool program and then you, it shows him doing like your pattern and laying it on there and yeah. well what i love about it is that you can actually just push print and if you have one of the pattern printers it'll actually print the full-size pattern so you can actually oh. turn them into clothing oh that is cool yeah it's very nice oh man if i would have had that well how long ago was that's yeah 30 yeah. years is that true yeah. i graduated in 91 oh that's when i graduated 91 2001 yeah. 20 yeah 30 years ago jesus that's <laughs> <laughs> no Someone says they're starting to get the uh, a feeling of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes vibe. Hell yeah. That was a good one. That's an old one. Yeah, I, I, that's that was well worth its weight in tomato sauce. Right. I mean, wasn't that like one of the first films ever rated by Rotten Tomatoes? Isn't that where like Rotten Tomatoes sort of came from? Yeah. Isn't there, they have something to do with each other if I remember right. Yeah. Oh yeah, the killer tomato they made it into a cartoon. Yeah. Well, everybody was doing everybody was doing pumpkins today, so I decided that I would chip into the old Hey, we're on ZBrush and we're making pumpkins day. And uh I'm making a pumpkin. <laughs> so it's pumpkin today, pumpkin day on ZBrush Live, it seems. <laughs> gourd, <laughs> gourd tomorrow. It's very true. Tomorrow could be a gourd day. <laughs> I 
Let's go. Gal Gador. Gal <laughs> Gal the Gord. I know. That was horrible. Sorry, my humor sucks. I apologize to everyone. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So if anyone has any questions about actually what I stream about, manufacturing with ZBrush, printing, uh, jewelry, that sort of stuff, please feel free to ask a real question as opposed to pumpkin questions. Not that there have been many pumpkin questions, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Surely, Cat's got a question. Cat, you got a question? <laughs> Surely. Oh, I mean, she's always doing projects. You know, she's always asking going. questions. Yeah, she's no, that's working, good. You know, so, I figured maybe she's got a conundrum. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I can sit here and sculpt without questions. It's not something that I need. I just want people to know that they should feel free to participate in any way that they can. Do you have a favorite pumpkin pie recipe? Well, my grandmother made some pretty wicked pumpkin pie, but I don't know enough about the recipe to know what it was. But I must admit, I like pumpkin pie a lot. Pumpkin pie is good stuff. It is good leaf. Cat says she's sculpting a scroll. A squirrel? Scroll. Scroll. Squirrel? Squirrel? <laughs> scroll. Okay. Isn't like a flourish? Um, like a. A long piece of paper that wraps around itself? With I, think she, it? I think she's talking about engraving scrolls or flourishes. Oh, a scroll. I'm sculpting, I'm sculpting a scroll. That would be my guess of what she's talking yeah. about. Okay, so uh, here you go. Thomas, I'm getting a 7-inch action figure of a space marine. I'm thinking about painting a cape on the... Oh, printing a cape on the Form 2 for it, but it's going to be pretty large. Any advice? Things I will be think thinking it'll be around 170 millimeters tall. No, oh, that's plenty. I mean, your, your form will handle that without a problem. Um, where is... Sword soft, sword soft. So, are you getting, uh, Raytheon? Are you getting the one sec? Uh, the Primus from the um, dang it, I forgot the company that does that now. There are two different companies putting them out, and I don't think they're at the same scale, or they might be. Which so, I think that the only thing I would suggest to you is this is if the cape i mean are you designing the cape um because if the cape is pretty substantially straight right where you have your waves and then it comes up nicely you know printing it where it's the widest parts at the bottom and it prints up you're going to wind up with a better print because you're not going to have any shearing or any problems with failures um but if you can often so let's just look at a let's look at a box if it's tall enough where you can just print it straight that's good but the problem with that is as it gets taller you know everybody everybody wants to just you know let's say your cape is sitting like this and let's go that way and they think oh i'm going to print it straight up and down like this cuz then I only need one, two, three, four supports, right? Problem with supporting like this is that um, when you get up here, the pull tension gets a lot harder and it's more likely to pull it off of the supports. So instead of printing things straight up and down, it's much easier if you print things where they are on, an, on two different angles. So you've got your surface sort of tilting this way right where you're printing with that down and that angled actually it'd be more like that wouldn't it 
because this way you're at least supporting to the two different sides and your pull tension as you're layering it is going to be a lot less than it is if you just do it straight up and down so I would print it at an angle like this and an angle like this right so it's not sitting straight it's sitting bent cantered in two directions and that's going to allow you to support to different points you're going to have a lot more points and it's going to hold on very well because when you get something that's that big you don't want you want as little surface pull as you can get and that's where the angling often helps you greatly he says yeah i'm going to scan the model using a 3d printer mcfarland's making space marines now yeah it's a special edition space marine um, Bandai did one, and then McFarland's doing one. Interesting. Yeah. Bandai did a special edition first one. It was like a $200, $300. Sure. Ring. And now they're doing another round, but McFarland is doing a set two of a, of a Marine. The Primarchs or whatever. Yeah, the Primus and the Necron. And then you can also get the uh, flat gray version, which is the one I bought and I'm waiting on because I just want it for reference. He says, cool, thanks, scanner. Oh, he's, he's correcting the 3D printer comment, sorry. That's the one you bought. You bought the gray one or the, the pre-painted one? Primaris Intercessor. Oh. There you go. He, he posted the link. Yeah. Which, when you look at it, it's pretty much like the Bandai, the Bandai one. I yeah, mean, see, this is why I always love the Chaos Marines. Because, you know, I mean, think about this. This is a $200 figure. I uh, know that one is not. That's the thirty-nine dollar one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the no, the Bandai Special Edition one is the two hundred dollar one. This is the like the second round where they got everyone figured out. Oh, people will buy this. So McFarland was in the no one got it, got the license to do it, and then Bandai is doing another round of a different Ultramarine or yeah, uh, Primaris. But they're the same model. I mean, I've got the special edition one. Yeah, you know, that's, ordering one it's just the today. thing is like, you know, yeah, you get some good detail up here, but you know, these, yeah. I mean, come See, on, this looks like a four-year-old sculpted it. It's been the one thing I've hated about Space Marines forever is that like, right. you know, any six-year-old with like three cones could <laughs> sculpt that. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's not very compelling sculpting where, yeah. you know, I mean, Let's face it. Yeah, the uh, yellow and green set over there in the corner, that's the next Bandai set coming out, which, yeah. They basically just made the same thing, gave it a different gun, and repainted it. And those are way cheaper than the first one. <laughs> I can't type, Jesus. It's ridiculous. Oh, can we get a... Yes, you can. You can get a link to the class. Hang on. Where is... Yeah, it's very straightforward. One of these is just... I like the chaos ones because, you know. Oh man, the there's the the larger miniature set that are the the Horus Rebellion. Um, I mean, these miniatures are just awesome. And since these are the Primarchs, you know, these are in that seventy millimeter range or sixty five millimeter range because they're like twice as, you know, that's how big oh. yeah. a Space Marine is, you know, in. These guys are just, some of these guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, that's a good sculpt right there. Uh, some Four of these, these that Primarch, or the, the um, who I think these are on the, these are from Citadel proper, if I'm not mistaken. But some of these, there's the one where he has the wings. Um, 
I can't think of anyone's names anymore. But I mean, they're just like some oh, of the these guys. Yeah, yeah, they're like yeah. well, they're like you know, they're like, instead of thirty four, you know, because they're supposed to be seven eight foot tall characters. So the right. figures I think are in that seventy mil range, and um, some of the sculpting on some of the later ones are just outrageous. They're just so cool. Yeah, like that guy right there. He's he's big. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's awesome detail for something that's you know, but they they actually sculpt them bigger and like shrink them if I'm not mistaken. There's a um, what's the process? Not rotoscoping. Um, what they do with coins? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they actually sculpt them a little larger, if I remember right. I can't remember anything. I don't know what I'm talking Someone about. Someone said X3. Rathion is saying X, or 3X. But I don't know if that's in response to that. or. And he said Forge World's uh, models are nice. They're in resin. Yeah, Forge World. That's it. Yeah, yeah, Forge World are really nice. But they're a subsidiary. They're, the, they're just an offshoot of, of Warhammer. Well, they're, yeah, they're right. just, it was just, they actually yeah. hired sculptors, you know. Yeah, and those are always nice. I love those things. Well, they're beautiful. There's some really beautiful models on there. There was, um, there's like a series of, it, it almost, it reminded me of like Napoleonic, uh, Riflemen, and I can't remember what they they were. There was something, you know, some imperial troop of some sort. But they, you know, they're space marines. But they reminded me of uh, oh, imperial guard. Is that what they were? Yeah, yeah they, I think that's what they're. There's some beautiful models. They were really cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, they have uh, they have like a Cossack looking one. They have yeah, like, yeah, they're cool. I liked them. Um, some of the Inquisitors or the Inquisition ones are pretty badass too. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cat's got it. So the flourish I am working on is one of yours, and I have and I have been adjusting and playing with it. It is sculpted so nicely, and I and it makes me think. Makes me. Th makes me think is the geometry just right, or that why it is so sculptable. I well, feel like because it has a lot of up, because it has a lot of geometry in it, maybe. Yeah, I feel like my block ups. I am still having a hard time understanding this aspect. Did that make sense? Well, I think. I mean, to be deadly honest, my block up is just purely use as little geometry as you can. I mean, that's the key, and then just go in and sculpt it. You know, that's really the answer. Is just keep that block up simple and um, then you have a lot more subdivision levels that you can get out of your model does that make sense I mean, the key is is that there's nothing complicated about it. The the more complications you put in it, the less you know. It's just not you have more capacity to make a crappy model. It says yes. <laughs> Keep it simple, Mikey's. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, that's. Not S K. Yeah, that's it. The Volstrion models are the, I think, are the Napoleonic-looking ones. Yeah, it's they're cool. Yeah, with the big Russian hats. And uh -huh. the, yeah, I like. Yeah. I'm a big Hussar fan, so. I love those. Those dudes were out of control, man. Running around. I had a a uh, 
one of the big bearskin hats with the huge skull and crossbone on it. Nice. Yeah, that went away with my storage unit, sadly. Oh. Cat says I keep hitting a place with too many polys. Well, stop subdividing so much. <laughs> I mean, the problem is, is that you, you get something like you would get like 40 million polys on something like this. This, you know what I mean? You get something that has less surface detail than this. And you, you, you get up in that 30, 40 million polys and you, I mean, you don't need the geometry. I mean, there's no reason in the world that you need that much geometry on most of the stuff that you're doing it to. I mean, you're doing stuff that doesn't even really have surface detail and you're jamming it up that high. And I mean, I'm the guy who sculpts in way too high geometry. Oh, that is not clay tubes. That's why that's not working. Clay tubes, hello. Okay. Oh, wait, good. What in the hell? Okay, there we go. Not working for me. All right, so now before I go into texture this, actually, we are going to remesh it. Well, both, but I mean, she has uh, like the last poly, the last ring she had, it was like 40 million polys and she didn't need that many polys. I mean, only if you have something that has some really intense surface resolution, are you going to need a 40 million poly model? I mean, like that dinosaur, I mean, it had dinosaur skin, right? That had to be sharp. And it was only 50 something million polys. So, you know, I think that you sometimes get, and I, I can't believe I'm the one saying this, but I think sometimes you get a little button happy and have too much resolution. She's like, nope. It said I don't have enough RAM. <laughs> enough RAM. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's self-aware. Right. But I mean, really, do any of us have enough RAM? I mean, yes, I do. I know I don't. Okay, Henry probably does. I, I do. Kidding. I have yeah. plenty of RAM. I I can't get ZBrush to use more than thirty-two gigs of my RAM. Wow. Why not? I don't know. It's just not enough polys. I keep pushing it, but. So wow, I feel like I failed you. <laughs> do you have a special kind of RAM there? No. I mean, it's it's high-end RAM. Oh, okay. 64 gigs of high-end RAM. Oh, it's nice. But I just don't understand how you can't use it. <laughs> you're not pushing it enough is what you're saying. Is that what you're yeah. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> I, and see... I need to teach Kate Cat not to divide so many times. I need you to divide a few more times. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I failed you all. <laughs> I, I think out of that class, Henry by far has the nicest computer. Hands yeah. down. To be fair, it's his living. He should have a nice yeah, computer. He should have a nice computer. But man, it is cool too. Yeah, but I'm a nice computer. It's just well, not think... as cool looking. And his is newer, to be fair. Yeah. Is it? Mine's like pushing seven years old now. Mm, yeah, mine's five. I think I built it in 2015. Yeah, she, she's now, now, I'm, now I'm trying to look and see how much I have. Too much. 
I'm just going to say that. Retheon is asking, is that a ZBrush limit? I was looking at a laptop with 120 gigs of RAM. You can never have too much RAM. <laughs> and I don't think it's a ZBrush limit. Uh, you no. would have to really, you'd have to make a wild model to use to use anywhere near that. I think I was at 150 million polygons, and I wanted to see what would happen if I then went to so much monsters or so much ZBrush and said, give me eight subdivision levels. <laughs> and then I clicked the button, and all of my lights turned red because everything went hot, but it was still using only like 30 gigs of RAM. Wow. That's like a demonic moment. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. He's like, the devil, the, the power of Christ compels you. The <laughs> he's got the holy thing, but he's throwing coolant at it instead of holy water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kat says, uh, Andrew, when it stops working, I divide. Ah, LOL. Yeah, you know, that's not really the answer, but okay. And, <laughs> you know, you have to understand why it's not working. Because if it's just one little area, then just wait till the end and fix it with uh, um, Sculptures Pro. Because if all you need is like this little area right here to be right, you know, it's like you don't need 100 million polys to do that. You might need 12,000 polys and you, or 12 million polys, and then you just need to you know, fix the one little area that you need to fix as opposed to it being. All right, what do we have here? I think that's pretty good. We're going to take you. She declares she's breaking the habit now. Mm -hmm, I've heard that. <laughs> it's very hard to kick the habit, man. I'm just saying, very hard. And we got we got a guy here. Spec Nation says uh, I think a lot of newer artists don't think that they should be able to see polygons, so subdivide when they don't need to, just to get less dense areas smoother. Well, yeah, I think there's something to that. I think a lot of people forget what the reality of the scale of their object is. You know, it's like people get in there and they're like, "Oh, look, I can see these polygons," and you're like, "Yeah, but that's like." two one hundredths of a millimeter you know of course you're seeing polygons <laughs> at least you should if you're you know i think there's a lot of when you can get a millimeter this big on your screen people don't understand that each one of those squares is like one thousandth of a millimeter and so understanding your relative scales i think is very very important for that henry you just did that yeah go look at my rendering that looks nice, man. Woo. Holy crud. It's good for a first attempt. That's just out of the Is box. Is that Discord? Yeah. Where are uh, you? Yeah, Discord and progress pieces. Where's progress pieces? Oh. Oh, holy crap, dude. That is that is stellar, dude. Thanks. Look at that. Ooh. That metal looks spot on. It's black. Ooh. What's black? What's black? Is that you your rendering? You smoking crap? Uh, we we might be way behind on the stream versus ah. chat because you're still working on the popcorn uh, oh i see we're down oh 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 yeah no that's not what we were looking at <laughs> oh you're looking at the silhouettes nice i'm like those are black that's an awesome rendering yeah <laughs> did you hit any settings or did you just hit render well he used so uh, when i had the trial i worked on the material for uh like a patina sterling silver mm -hmm. um so i had that sort of ready uh, and then I just applied it to the pieces. I actually used a paint material for the stones because yeah, I've got I was going to say it looks like a paint material. Yeah, those are supposed to be lapis lazuli, but I ain't got time for that. I ain't got no time for that. <laughs> no time for that. I think I have a lapis material, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere that you can well, use. Drop it in Dropbox. Uh, I'll see if I can find it without a doubt. Yeah, man, good going, Henry. Dang, dude. <laughs> it's a it's a lot to take in making materials in that program it really is it really yeah, is on my screen you have just opened discord oh for the first time yeah no you're so just wait one second you'll see what i mean by it's just black <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's just like wait a minute you're awesome that looks just like mine <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Okay, let's bully in this. There you go, Kat showing us a picture of the flourish she's working on. Where wow. is that? Oh, it's in it's in progress pieces there too. Boolean folder. Well, yeah, let's go she's... take a look at it while we're. That's great. Dang, dude, Henry is a man. Really, really, dude. There you go. <laughs> I didn't do anything, man. Don't get it's, your shot. Yeah, oh, it. Girl. Well, it, it it once you get a good material, it makes a big difference. Uh, you're gonna have to share your material settings with us then. Because yeah. Uh, he did. We can we can download Tom Tomas's. Um... No, yours, the one you just made for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be teaching us how to do that, man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the how-to that I read. <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, if you take any, like, if you take some of my materials and just play with the procedural side of it, um. It's a lot easier than sitting there just trying to get your base materials in. Because um, I'll tell you, it is, it's a lot trickier than it seems. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt is what it is. Oh. We need to remesh this. Duplicate. Well done, sir. Well done. Make this history state. Come to here. Come down to Z remesher. Point seven. Turn on symmetry. X is good. Well, there you go. Worth the money right there. I'm telling you. Huh. Hmm. I'm getting thirsty. I think I left my bottle of water in the car. <laughs> which he has any problem with the surface in any way shape or form she just keeps dividing now i'm a firm believer in getting up into 18 million polys 18 to 20 million polys perfectly fine working area when you start getting up into the 50 and 70 million polys you better have a really good reason to to have that many polys is all i'm saying you know i'm surprised that you don't use the high def thing sometimes but i don't think the printing process could handle that i think that's why well i'm going to decimate everything no matter what but um right. i've never you know what a long time ago when it first came out it just it never did what i needed it to do or it didn't work or there was some reason and i just never used it and um and now i don't i don't use it and i don't i don't know why i mean it's not a you know, I, I don't, I couldn't right. tell you why. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he went the extra mile and made it completely hollow. Well, yeah. It's a friggin' pumpkin. <laughs> Oops. You do have to be careful to... Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Are these different poly groups? Damn it. Damn it, Jim. All right, so let's do this because I want to get rid of these poly groups. Make this sharp, turn back face masking on, and I think that should protect us. Yeah, it does, okay. Flip that, turn those lines off. So everybody knows, how did you accomplish that? You're using live booling, right? 
Well, I, did, I, I didn't use live Boolean, but yeah, I used Boolean. I mean, you used Boolean. Okay. I just simplified my original form. And, um, and just Boolean it out. Super simple. Boolean's awesome. And then I'm flipping this inside out. And I have um, back face masking turned on so I don't paint the positive side of my face here. Right, we're just trying to get this inside surface masked. So I can turn it into a different poly group and work on it separately. <laughs> I gotta put the scrape marks and everything in there. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, we're doing pumpkins, right? <laughs> Establish your dominance. I'm just saying, you know, like you all do down the pumpkin gauntlet. Everybody's starting to make pumpkins. It's like, okay, well, I'll make a pumpkin. <laughs> all right, Stefan's asking, since I'm sending my models to casting facilities, what's a good number I should decimate to before sending my model? I would say a million is probably just the safest shot around. I mean, as long as your model can support you know, as long as a million support, like the dinosaur that we just did for David, I I decimated that to two million polys, just because um, I wanted it to really retain some of that surface in the production. So, um, but I th for the most part, a million polys covers most issues. There we go, and now. Rendion's asking Thomas, should I hollow out the cape for that seven inch model I talked about? I doubt it. I mean, it's it's not going to, um, I mean, it's not going to be super thick, is it? I mean, it it has its qualifications, right? I don't think your, 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 th your cape shouldn't be that thick. Is it? I mean, I can't imagine it getting that thick. But then I might not be thinking about something and it might be that thick. No, I mean, for a cape, I wouldn't worry about it. If you were doing torso, like if you were actually doing the figure, I'd probably hollow it out. I would think it would just be, you're just adding extra work to your print job at that point and more you're chances just, for it to fail. Yeah, exactly. Because chances are you're... Um, I mean, you're not going to be anywhere. I, I don't see where it would get thick enough to be an issue. Yeah. Great. I'm oh. just saying, not really. I just haven't printed anything that scale before. No, no, no. The only time you'd worry about hollowing it is if it's, you know, thick and solid. So, like, if it were the torso of that figure, I'd probably hollow the figure. But the cape's thin enough that... I don't think that'd be an issue. And if it is, I'd be surprised. I mean, if it's all rolled up on itself and it's kind of solid, then maybe you want to, but um, I don't see where that's going to present enough volume that is going to justify all of the weirdness on the inside of the cape. If you're trying to hollow it out, um, you're gonna have a lot of, um, A lot of uh, use your head, Tomas. Come on. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is this: We're Thor Thoft. Thor Thoft. There it is. So, if you have, because what you have to think is if you're trying to hollow something. Did you see that slash? See, there's a lag. What is, hold on. Yeah, there's the, a big lag. Did you see the step in the drawing? That was, what in the hell is running? Yeah, Raytheon said I'll have a, uh, I'll see if I have a pick of the one I did with the normal one. It's just gonna be upscaled. 
So he's, he's going to show you, I guess, come up with a... Yeah, that's a long flag. <laughs> Weird. I wonder if that has to do with the OBS update. It might be, but Mike and I are the only ones that notice it. Well, I notice it because I stroke and it doesn't do what I tell it to do. <laughs> oh, you're talking about a different kind of lag. Sorry. I... Um, when I did my drawing tool, hold on here. Let, let's see if it'll 21 do it. seconds. Yeah, 21 seconds lag. Oh, no, I'm talking about. Oh, on your machine. I When I draw drew, there was like a space. In, oh, see there? See, I started on the edge of the line, but see how it didn't catch until it, you can even see right there it snapped. See the the interruptions in the line there? Those steps, see those blank areas? That's my machine glitching. Probably just at some point rebooting clean wouldn't hurt me. See how it's not rotating? It's like stopping. Yeah. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Well, those little Wacom computers just weren't meant for your kind of... Kind no, of it should be able to handle this easily. <laughs> I mean, this isn't, this isn't that dramatic. I mean, this is only what? It's not that big. No, that's what I'm saying. It's the machine glitching. It's not it's not choking it out. There's something glitching and that's the issue. That's the issue. What in the what? I'm gonna have to do it again. Look at that. Inflate. We have two little holes right there. I am not down with that. <laughs> yeah, Henry, how are we? How is it we're not hearing the machine gun fire of your of your keyboard? Because he's not typing. I'm not talking. I mean, I'm just muted. I mute my oh. microphone. Oh, okay. Every single time I stop speaking, I'm I mute. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want you to hear me cussing about you. No. Well, it's a logic stream. It wouldn't. To be fair, oh, on Pixel Logic stream, I was like, fair enough. I'm like, it wouldn't be shocking. <laughs> Everybody else cusses me, so I, I don't. I don't see why you shouldn't. Have you figured out those ghost products yet? <laughs> yeah, I did in their their horse nonsense. Yeah. But we'll make it work. We'll just email a link. That was very nicely put. Yeah. I mean, like you said, at the end of the day, you're going to have to trust someone because they could just upload. They could just upload the. Uh... Yeah, if somebody's selling an ebook and, you know, you buy it and you just upload it to the Internet. I, I mean, if if nobody's worried about that, then we shouldn't be terribly worried either. There's definitely bad people in the world, but we can't assume everyone is. Oh, then I'm a bad person for doing that. No. <laughs> Okay, it's too much work to assume everyone is. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> it just goes to show I'm a terrible person again. <laughs> we need a little that, bit. That's the litman, litmus test. If, if you can think of it, then someone's thinking of something twice as worse. Oh, no, I, I was the bad person because I was thinking everybody else in the world's bad. <laughs> oh. 
that's what was making me a bad person. Because I feel like we're going to have trouble from everyone else, so that makes me bad. Right here in River City. Right here. Oh, sorry. Right? And that rhymes with pool. <laughs> Not a lot of people are going to get that. <laughs> I love that movie. It's an awesome movie. Yeah, we 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 probably did that friggin' show like six times. Yep, someone got it. There you go, right? Music Man, love that movie. Good stuff. I think uh, it was one of the things they did in the well, it was Shakespeare in the Park, but they also did every once in a while. Uh, just a normal musical, you know. It wasn't all Shakespeare all the time. Someone's asking, what is this, bro? Well, so everybody today on Pixelogic did pumpkins. So I was not going to be left out. So I'm doing a pumpkin. Which could be turned into a pendant. I'm doing pumpkin pendants. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, pendants, yeah. Now the, getting the vestment out of that. Ah, you'll see it won't be that hard. I'll show you. Yeah. Just lag a lag a ding dang. Every once in a while, my machine does this, and I'm not smart enough to figure out why. Or maybe I should say I'm not concerned enough <laughs> to figure out why. Why is that face on my neck? Peter, yeah, you I'm trying to. is he doing drugs again? All right. So now I have to. There's a Disney cartoon Halloween one. It's an older one, and that face reminds me of the of the. I, I don't know if it was a jack o' lantern that was making that face, or it was a spooky ghost face. But the wide set of it, and the eh, reminds me of it a little bit. Mm -mm, escape. Keep groups. Detect edges. Cat just says signet ring. I don't know what we're. Is that a question? It's just making pumpkins. We're making jack-o'-lanterns. Um, here, let me show you. Oh, well, I can't show you because I'm streaming live. And I can't get to that page, can I? If I'm streaming. On Pixelogic? Mm -hmm. On their... Um, you could look at it through YouTube. What's going on? Oh. One second. Yeah, there we go. Boop. Wait, it didn't keep groups. Did you just see that? <laughs> didn't I yeah. say keep groups? I will no. in 30 seconds. <laughs> Ouch. Hold on. Come on. Why aren't you, uh, what is going on? There we go. Control Z. There we go. Keep groups, not freeze groups.
you can't see this window right here in YouTube? I think they mean Restream Bot isn't casting Twitch comments back to YouTube. Oh. But that's, that's usually solved by them just reloading the page. What happened there? <laughs> yeah, it's working on my end. Just reload the page. If you're on YouTube and you're watching and Restream Bot isn't giving you Twitch messages, just reload. Oh, now we see it. Not the stream stuff, I mean what he was talking about on his screen. What um, what the hell's that? <laughs> yeah, the what the hell's that? The pumpkin with a smash. Oh. I'm definitely gonna have to get some water here in a minute. See remesh. Ooh, nope. Divide. Yep, that works. Divide, 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 divide. Low res. Give me that. Turn off symmetry. Turn on history. careful around your eye sockets and stuff but I'm not going to be right now so we'll call it even where are my pupils though do they have pupils hello interesting What's going on with you here? Eh, we'll sort it out in a bit. Wow, look at how quick I am at sculpting detail. <laughs> I just wipe my brush over it and it's just like like I'm sculpting. It's found the hidden brush that does it yeah this is the make a pumpkin brush <laughs> yeah but you don't have it Is there a Portuguese word for jack-o'-lantern? I can only imagine there is. Well, I mean, if they don't have jack-o'-lanterns in Portugal, there might not be. Hey Siri, is there a Portuguese word for jack-o'-lantern? In Brazilian Portuguese, jack-o'-lantern is lanterna jacu. <laughs> there you go. La yeah, lantern I'm jack up. <laughs> Who would have thought that? That's it.
Thomas, do you speak any other languages? Used to, but I died. Oh, there's that. So, nope, not anymore. Nope. I took, I took a crack at it in high school, and I was like, well, my dyslexia is barely letting me do English. What's well, so. funny, I just got, um, I ordered it on, like, uh, what do you call it, like, Kickstarter or whatever, like, forever ago. And uh, it's like one of those little translating things. So I'm going to oh. give it a shot and see how it works. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. It seems to work okay. But um, when I go up to Seattle for my birthday, uh, Shinya's Japanese. And so we'll do the Japanese test. That's cool. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, it, it's, it's this. And so, see, the problem is, well, maybe it'll do it here. Hold on. Okay, and then do you really have to repair it every time? That's a little annoying. I didn't even see it. I looked down. Dang it. <laughs> One sec. We're going to give it a shot here. How do you... Grace in action, you saw it here first. Okay, hold on. I think you have to press both of them. Wait. Oh, you're so annoying. Obviously, this is something that I'm sure you get better at. <laughs> We're gonna, Repetition is the key. We'll give it a shot here. They just came in the mail, so you can't expect me to do perfect. I tried to do it with Shinya, and I couldn't uh, figure... He couldn't hear it, so it didn't help. So, confirm... Add a device. One, two, three, four. No, I can't. Another time. My poor frustration levels, I just can't deal with it. My poor frustration levels won't let me deal with it. Mask that off, Tomas. Tomas. It's 
stop it. Stop it, you. Eric's up there doing stuff. Look at him go. Yeah. I'm getting little notifications on me watch. All right, so I'll take you, mask you off. Now we're going to take the history brush. Over here. What are you dying from? I'm dehydrating. Get some water. I know. <laughs> Mike, Mike said he'll sing us a song if you went away. Oh, will I? <laughs> wow. You well, said. you don't want that, man. But all right. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> now I have to evaluate that. Hmm. <laughs> do you want to run people off, or do you want them to be here when you get back? It's really the question. Damn it, Jim. I'm just a doctor. Come on, you. You're not supposed to be that weird right now. Wow, did I... I got rid of... Man, I've been like a happy button pushing individual. What's going on over here? All right, first of all, we need to get brushes back over there. And plugins. There we go. I don't know what was happening over there. Do you not have answers for that question? What is going on right here? Minimum connection point one. Where are those connection points? Oh my goodness, they're way out here somewhere. How did that happen? How did that happen? I don't know. You're the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I think it happened because I'm dehydrating. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Where are those two points? See the little C 
These are still there. Mm. Oh, that's so frustrating. Someone wants to know, Thomas, if you play Minecraft. No. I don't, um... It comes down to this. I spend all day, every day on my computer working. And the concept of me trying to find entertainment on my computer is something that horrifies me. Um, so the second that I started living by working on my computer was the day that my uh, my gaming ended. I don't... I don't game or anything like that anymore just because I can't imagine spending time on my computer that's not work. My poor OCD will never let it happen. Um, like, I'd sit here and I'd have an anxiety attack because I'm not working. So if I'm at my computer, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to work. And, um, yeah, sadly... My poor psychotic brain won't let me do that. Oh man, <laughs> that's gonna make me remash this again because that's gonna drive me nuts. <sighs> it's a little frustrating. Yeah, no, I mean, I spend, I, I spend at least 18 hours in front of a computer, I think. Sixteen, seventeen hours. When I, when I do freelance, when I'm actually working, working, I'll easily put 18 hours in. But I'm not doing that right now, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. get a little bit more airspace in here for the rematch because I can't live with these two little points so I'm going to rematch this because that's who I am I'm that crazy guy who can't deal with that <laughs> Come on. See, like they'll bunch up, but that's not the end of them. They're going someplace. See how they're still sticking out there? And you can see, I just don't know where that end point is. I can't do it.
Come on. Why is that not? I suspect you're the wrong person to answer this, but Marcelo asked, uh, he's thinking of trying HD Geo, I assume that means geometry, for the first time. Uh, are there any pitfalls using it? He hears it can take uh, hours to bake, depending on the mesh. Yeah, for for physical sculpting, um, the, I don't find much use for it at all. Because, I mean, I just, I get my mesh where I want my mesh to be, you know. But for baking, I've heard that exact same thing, that, you know, it can be really good and you can get it in there. But the second you try to bake it, it can take forever. And I'm not, I'm really not the person to ask in the sense of I don't use it. So um, I'm probably not the best person to ask. But yes, that is the complaint that I've heard about it, actually, is that it, um, it can be very brutal in that rebake. ba do ka do ka do ka do All right. One more time. Let's get all the detail out of this so it when we Z remesh this it's not. Usually when I, I want a good clean Z remesh, I'll get as much detail out of the model as I can because that way it won't have to consider that detail. Um, so does anybody have any Z brush questions? Yeah. Feel free to ask. It's open mic night, guys. It's always open mic. No pun intended. Well, I mean, sure, I assume so. Sadly, I do it because I'm crazy. I mean, I have OCD. And I can't. My poor brain doesn't really let me enjoy myself if I have things that are in progress. So, and now that we're doing my own website, it's uh, it's not going to allow me to think well or straight until I'm done. So. Psychosis is definitely a big help for those kind of obsessive hours, but yeah, anybody can train themselves to be obsessive, I think. Yeah, it's just work. <laughs> just add an extra half hour a day. <laughs> it's real easy. Just try and pay your bills. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. It'll work itself out. All right. Come on, you. Hey, look at that. That's a cleaner remesh. See how we didn't get all that weirdness in the eye? All right, so we're going to divide, 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 divide. But now we definitely have to come back in here. And before we get too wacky with our divisions, we're going to kind of move this stuff where it's a little bit more in place. Hmm. And then we're going to pull this down. Okay. Now that is probably close enough for our first reproject. You can do it. There we go. And this is all pretty common because all this weirdness you see is just that the projection distance is short. And so this is where I would come back at the low res here. Turn symmetry off. And just come back in and get this mesh kind of up close to where it needs to be. We almost had it the last time. I just had that weird geometry there in the nose, and sadly, I can't cope with that. <laughs> Psychoses.
Well, I mean, I created my own UI um, because I pull out the tools that I use all the time, you know. And like if you're taking my class, I make you use my, my UI while you're learning um, just because all the tools I use are out. Um, if, you, if you know the tool sets that you use, then yeah, if you're trying to take my class, use mine. You know, I mean, it's, that's a, it depends on what you're doing, obviously, you know, but no, creating your own UI, if you know the sets of tools you use, uh, and I'm dyslexic and I can't type, so the concept of having keyboard shortcuts does me no good, because I literally have to look at the keyboard every time. So having all my palettes here where I can hit them with my brush and I'm not digging around in menus. So it's real important to have my UI out. But um, yeah, I, I think that it really depends on your workflow. Like I would spend hours hunting for something if I didn't pull my UI out. So it really comes down to your workflow and what you're trying to accomplish at the moment, I think more than anything. Because once you start making your custom UIs, you're going to realize that uh, you need to uh, do it again, and then you need to do it again. And, you know, it'll take a few days probably to get it right. And then you'll be working, and you realize that you forgot that tool, so now you have that, and then you save that UI. And then, then you realize that you left out all those tools, and now you have to do that. And it, it's, it's arduous, but once you have it done, it's well worth it, I think because I couldn't work without my UI. I mean, I've had a custom UI for eight years, nine years. So, uh, and I mean, it's evolved, but yeah, no, if I didn't use a seat, my custom UI, I'd be useless. Yeah, no. Right, yeah, you got it. Okay. No, I think I think like I said it really depends on you know, how much time do you spend looking for brushes and and function stuff, you know. Cuz for me it's just a nightmare. I'm like every once in a while things will go missing from my UI and I have no clue where it was from I just I'm like <laughs> it's really kind of sad <laughs> when I have to revert to trying to get a hold of uh, Paul or Joseph I'm like I have this on my UI what the hell was it and then they're like well don't you have a version of your old UI <laughs> like oh yeah <laughs> never mind sorry guys <laughs> Someone's asking the difference between ZBrush and ZBrush Core. Uh, ZBrush Core is a basic version of ZBrush, and so it does not have a lot of the tools that uh, ZBrush has. It's a limited version. I don't know what it has and what it doesn't have because, honestly, I've never really opened it. Um, I had a copy of it, and I just couldn't get the thing to register. I was a little sad about that. But um, it's just a very limited version of ZBrush. You know, it's it. I guess it's fully functional. It just doesn't have all the features. Henry, didn't you say you used Core at some point? Yeah, when I was just learning what ZBrush was, I downloaded core mini first and then I liked it enough to try core and then I liked that enough to just buy ZBrush 
glad you did. You buying ZBrush was a very important moment in my life. <laughs> I would never have a website if it wasn't for you buying ZBrush. <laughs> ZBrush been very, very good to me. We'll, well see that, how it turns out for me. Yeah, well that repeatedly <laughs> telling him wow. take class, yeah. Wow. Did you just hear that? That was very passive-aggressive on his part. Heard. You know I'm kidding. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. I heard that, I want you to know. <laughs> my wife just told me to stop crossing my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't need to cross your fingers. Dang sure don't crush them. <laughs> you need to cross your heart because you sold your soul to the devil <laughs> oh, come on you stop fussing with that it doesn't matter that's where project will get all that stuff there comes a point where you're when you're brushing on this projection it gets weird sometimes and you have to know when to stop see how it's going back and projecting to something that's not there so don't worry about that let the project all actually do that Why am I so opposed to getting up and getting something to drink? I do not know what's going on. OCD? I think that might have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that might be it. <laughs> oh, go now. Hold on, I can't. Not right now. Let me at least smooth this out. <laughs> I can't do it. And then as soon as you're finished smoothing, something else is gonna happen. Wait, no, no, no. Ahead. The smoothing. Hold on. Just let me let me, let me let me just smooth this out. And let me hold on. We just need to get that smooth. All right, go run. What's that? What's that? Let's like I said, I got to get the smoothing done first, and then I'll, I'll my brain will say that that's enough. Hold on, look, let's see, we have to get that in there. Okay. Wait, I can hit this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get water. I'll be right back. <laughs> Now a short musical interview. <laughs> Let's go out that scene. You don't want me to sing, man. <laughs>
No, 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 no. Are you playing music? Oh, yeah. Was that licensed music? Ah, shoot. Sorry. Oh, you're All killing right, yeah, me. No, don't do that. Oh. Ah. No, Twitch will just mute the channel. Okay, no, don't do that. All right. A little late now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to synthesize and I'll just start playing music on the keyboard. Hang on. Well, no, don't do that. <laughs> Does everyone like the recorder? My kid's got a recorder. No, everybody. <laughs> Glockenspiel? <laughs> no, you're killing me. <laughs> I'll try the spoons. There we go. Yeah. Pixel Watch is going to be like, why is your stream banned tonight? I don't know. Don't ask me. Sorry, Pixel Logic. I just had it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Is what it is. Now that's weird. We just went through and fixed all that. There's a He Man version of that? Rock on. <laughs> version of what? What's going on? No. Oh. <laughs> Have you all seen the the British uh, grocery store I think it's a grocery store uh, with He-Man and Skeletor and they're dancing no oh man god what is what's it called they're priceless there are a couple of them um, we have to watch this hold on And it's like, the yeah, there it is. Money supermarket. <laughs> Watch these videos. They're priceless. They're awesome. They're spectacular. I've seen Skeletor dance is funny. Oh no! <laughs> oh, they're live action. Oh yeah, no, no, no. They're 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 beautiful. <laughs> No, they are. Uh, it's a pretty spectacular. Um... Okay, that's that's going to my other window real fast. That looks cool. Yeah, no, you have to watch them. They're good. And it's called like Money Supermarket or something like that. It's a British supermarket. And they have these weird dance-offs with <laughs> businessmen in high heels and and construction workers in high heels. <laughs> it's just like. They are like so weird. I don't have answers for them. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> will History Brush let me work with part of it hidden? I don't think it will. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah no, it's weird. It doesn't let you do it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. just two I think the Daily Show made a, a crack or a comment about zombie forest fires out there so did another fire they just put out start back up with a vengeance or something yeah oh, okay. well the whole zombie forest fire thing started I think with the uh was it uh, Siberia? 
And you know how Siberia had, they had these huge forest fires. And then I guess because it's more like, um, uh, like peat moss sort of, you know, um, and so they literally sat there and smoldered and then they came back like a year and a half later or something like that. I think that's, that that happens a lot up in Canada and the Indian territory too. Same thing. Like it's a marsh that's dried up and yeah, that, that, yeah, just sits there. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, so when I was just like, really? It just started back up on its own? <laughs> well, technically, yeah. That's exactly what they did. Smoldery bastards. Wasn't done. <laughs> yeah, it had. It still had things to burn. Angry toddler not done with its tantrum. Ah! Okay. No, stop that. Come on, you. There we go. I just said to myself like four times, I'm like, well, that's your symmetry is not turned on. Then I'm like, your symmetry is not turned on. I was like, oh, yeah, your symmetry is not turned on. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Right? (laughs) (laughs) Don't. 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 (laughs) It's the uh, electric donut or whatever. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Don't. All right. Okay. Damn, that was an arduous task to get here. (laughs) So anybody have big plans for Halloween this year? It's my anniversary. It's my mom's birthday. You better have big plans in. I don't yet. I'm sure we'll make some. Well, the problem big is... Big will still be in the living room. Yeah, it's like it's not like <laughs> you're going anywhere, you know? Yeah. <laughs> my kid wants to go trick-or-treating, so I told her I'll get a bowl of candy, and I'll open up the back gate, and you run from the back door to the front door, and just keep doing that till you're tired. And I'll keep giving you candy. <laughs> That's a good plan. I like it. And then we could put up blow ups and stuff in between, so it's a creepy little haunted housey thing for her. And how old is she? She's seventeen. Oh, well then that's perfectly good for her. I was yeah. like, you know, a six year old might be having issues with that, but <laughs> Yeah, no. Seventeen year old get get out there. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, put one in one hand and we all know what in the other and see which one gets full first. Yeah. Halloween one. <laughs> well, then she got smart. She goes, can't we just buy the candy and eat it? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I was like, well, that was the plan I was going to come up with, but you want to go door to door and ask it for it. <laughs> it's like, you know, we can't get it really cheap at Walmart right now. Right. She's like, you just buy it for me? I'm like, of course, kid. What? <laughs> it's Halloween and it's COVID. What else would I do? <laughs> That's my parental responsibility at that point, right? I think it is. <laughs> I got and, a big hug, so and, it was worth it. <laughs> in fact, I do believe that is exactly what parental responsibility says you should do. Right? Oh, my God. All right, you're driving me nuts. What's funny is I don't know why I'm sitting here projecting when... I should just be re-sculpting this. I mean, I got it re- remeshed, but now I'm sitting here and I'm futzing with this, trying to get this to re-sculpt or to reproject, and I'm like, 
sitting there going, why am I doing that? I don't care if it reprojects. <laughs> I'm going to sculpt this. <laughs> Yeah. It's principality at that point. <laughs> right? Like Liechtenstein. Okay. That's good. Oh, man. You know what? I wanted. There. See, I was. I was dehydrated and I've been doing things silly. All I needed was some water and I blew it. <laughs> I want you. You just need yeah. a bigger printer. Yeah, you just, yeah. Hey, foam, uh, what is it? Foam core or whatever they're using to do cosplay stuff with? Uh, no, no, they have, um, it used to be called plastiline. Oh, warbler. Or no, plasticine. It used to be called yeah. plasticine. But you had to use acetone with it to get it to soften up. And they have the board and they have the mesh again, except I don't think you have to use such caustic materials. I think you can use heat. And it's like yeah. uh, this white mesh and you could take a heat gun and heat it and shape it. It's it's a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. What is it called? It's called Warbola. Oh, that's a brand name. Yeah. Yeah, that's the brand name. I mean, that's the, yeah. the uh, US. That's, that's the there's another producer out there but that's the that's the stuff that's, that's here in america it's cool stuff yeah because yeah. like i said we we did a bunch of stuff with it except um yep warbler yeah. it's cool yeah but i mean there's a ton of people now if you're looking online for people that are doing cosplay stuff there's equal amounts of people just using the, the, the foam rubber mats, workout mats, and cutting that up. And you can do just the same amount of, of, of stuff with that. The war, and, there, and then sometimes people are making the, the base out of that. And, and then using the that to glue skin. to it, sure, as yes. the posable structure, yeah. Right, skin over it like that. And then that's a sand, because the warble is a sand, uh, same stuff, sandable, hardenable. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you um, so the foam for the foam mats, and f when it's the costume foam, if you go to Foam Mart, so that's the one nice thing about Los Angeles is you have places like Foam Mart, so you can just go and buy rolls of foam. L two hundred is what that yeah uh, that foam is, and it's super good stuff. We used L two hundred for a lot of things. Get that and some spray adhesive, and you are on fire. Yeah, my wife, she she really likes doing cosplay, and there's a this German girl that is like top of you know head of the class, um, and uh, she got all her books on how to do all that stuff. Yeah, I got them for her, so she because she really I was like, you want to do it? We'll do it. Let's do it all the way. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> do gonna it. Have, we're gonna do yeah. it. I'm gonna do it right. You're gonna, you want a costume? I'm gonna I'm gonna build you. We're gonna build a, we're gonna build costume. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, but I mean that lady. She started off doing the foam stuff, then went to Warbla, and then she refined her process, and now she's back to using the, the foam stuff more because she's like she could do the same same level of detail, less cost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I still want to 
go to some of the really big cosplay uh, shows in Asia. And because yeah. um, I did a, I made a custom watch for, uh, what is it? The Two Brothers um, Alchemist, Alchemy, Full Metal Alchemist, I think is what it was called. Yeah. And they have these pocket watches, I guess, that are like the the badges or whatever oh you know that's the it's the thing that shows what office or or whatever i don't know they're part of the army or some crap and so the um the watches are the uh badges i get you know and i made this guy one and i got really good watch mechanism and i built it around it and i was like some of the cosplay stuff is pretty cool. I think it'd be cool to make like real jewelry that is the cos- cosplay stuff. Because there's some people making some really garbage magic girl jewelry. And they're killing it. And I'm just like, well, I want to make real magic girl jewelry. Because some of it is just outrageously cool. Oh, yeah. problem is people are just so used to garbage now that how do you, but they were saying there's this one woman who's like one of the number one cosplay models she makes over a million bucks a year going to shows oh is it a, is it the asian lady yeah oh. she's a japanese girl yeah she's the she is the u.s distributor for warbler um i can't remember her name right off the top of my head yeah she's a I could have, I could have told you any other time, but <laughs> yeah, I wanna I wanna sell her jewelry, <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's gonna bug me now. plasticine that's funny just uh, google search magic girl jewelry it's all over the place yeah I was just about to read the questions (laughs) Um, yeah no it it uh, it's everywhere you can't miss it That whole, uh, the whole genre of that cosplay stuff. That's, it's some very large business. But there's, um, I can't remember the name of the cartoon. It's like, it's a word like this long. Go Magica. And it's one of the Magic Girl cartoons. But the production design on it's beautiful. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, and that's a very big show oh yeah (laughs) right you you always ask me stuff that I just go well just google it and (laughs) don't feel bad don't feel bad all right (sighs) what am I doing I totally forgot. I spent so time, so much time remeshing this thing for no reason. Well, that's not true. I had a reason at the time, and then I forgot what I was doing, and I started remeshing for other things, and then, yeah, I was being silly. I was being silly. Let's just get some of this back in place, and then I'm just going to start. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's move this crap out. Because we're going to turn these into scoops eventually. Actually, 
we can use which one is it rough chunks I think this is the one we want there we go right roughly scooping out the inside of our pumpkin Symmetry turned on. What is going on? I'll tell you what, this Windows update, and I haven't updated my, uh, my, Yaya my Cinti. What's that? Yaya Han. That's the Asian lady. Yeah. Yeah. Doing very well, Saeed. How are you doing? We were just making pumpkins today because everybody else was, so I felt like I needed to partake. Yeah, it's weird. My head's killing me. I don't get headaches much. I'm not a big headache person. But when I get them, it's very weird. Very weird. It's because the barometer's changing. I'll make wagers. I'm like a living barometer. If the weather changes, my head just explodes. Yeah. I've, been neti, I've been neti pot in the last few days and I'm paying for it now. That's funny. Um, I fried my sinuses. Uh, There's a, a fire on set and the paint shop caught on fire. Oh, and then right. with, and they had like old pigment paint. So he had real Azurian crimson and real cobalts and um it just it fried my sinuses i it was spraying this uh what do you uh antibiotic cream or a spray at this antibiotic spray it was horrible and ever since then man it's just like my allergy my sinuses are just a mess so stefan uh i'm stefan's asking thomas how does your mom feel about your career as a jewelry designer? Also, how does she feel about the things you create? I mean, oh, my does mom. She think they're cool? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. My mom's a big fan. My mom's actually a really talented painter. She did oil paintings and stuff. And then she was a draftsman, the engineer y kind of thingy with Bob. And, um, but no, she's. She's a big fan. She's very supportive, actually. She's very cool. My mom's awesome. No complaints about my mom. <laughs> now, when other people in my family were like, you can't be an artist you gotta go to law school stuff she was always just like do what you do man don't let anyone tell you otherwise
Yeah, I found the lady I was trying to tell Cat about. There's a post for that if she's mm. looking and reading about it. That's her Amazon. She's she's on Amazon now. I, I used to have to go to her website to get it, but you can learn a lot out of those books if that's what you're trying to shoot for. So, I mean, the chick will teach you how to light your stuff up, all the processes that they use. I mean, it teaches you quite a bit. Yeah, it's crazy how big the world of cosplay has become. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you know, um, just like full-time models. Oh, yeah. Say it's saying, Master Thomas, I finished your model sculpt. Uh-oh. <laughs> it does not have the texture yet. I will not be able to send it to you tomorrow or the next day. Okay, well... You can always, I mean, anytime's fine. <laughs> no, Jim, I'm easy. Jim, Jimmy, the guy wants to know the next time you're streaming, uh, rather than your regular Monday, like when in the, the next Fritz class. Well, that class is over. So, um, but we are going to have at least one more class before the end of the month because we need to go over some of the models that everybody wants to send in. Um, but we haven't I haven't heard from uh, Ryan and them so I don't have the emails for the other class that I need to inform yeah and I've, I've gone into the artist awake to tell them about it but nobody's yeah there, there's no one really active there yeah someone I don't know added me to a new group What's the, the group awake. called? Oh, what's the group? I think it was your class, Mike. Oh, yeah? I think someone added me to your class for some reason. Um, it could have been um, Sherry when she was in last last time or something, maybe? That sounds or... very familiar, Sherry. Yeah. Because we got her, remember, last last Friday, whatever, I remember. last Monday. Yeah. So. I, didn't, I didn't even think that we could bring you into our group if you want to, but it's inactive, and I mean... Yeah, we're gonna. Mm, never mind. <laughs> um, we got a few. With the Discord going on, you know, if you're in the community, I, I, I think it's a, a great place for us to just converse and talk. And well, sure, but, but no one in that other class knows that, so. Right, and that's what I'm trying to get out to them. Yeah, I was. I, was, I, I put just it in need... there. Yeah, I put it out there. Hey, man, join now. Here's the Discord. You know. <laughs> I need so. to. I need to get uh, their email so they're actually getting it. You know what I mean? Because the thing about the the artist awake thing is that it's passive you know you have to go there and look at it i want to hit their emails and just say hey guys look we have an opportunity for you right i was i was gonna go through their 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 little information sheets right their stuff maybe and see how many of them put their stuff on there and then contact them through that and tell them i mean i guess at the end of the day it's only 40 people i could just send a private message to everyone and right. at least that's not passive, you know. But so, Guy Hola is asking, will you make a tutorial of ZBrush 2021 from start from start for beginners? Uh, well, yeah, that I we're I'm making a class right now. It should be done by we're going to launch mid next month. Is that is that what we're deciding? <laughs> Yeah, I think second week of November we're launching that uh, course. Um, I'm Stefan. Are the other guys taking your, oh, talking your students? Yes, we were both as students. Yeah, I'm in the class that just ended. Mike was in the class before that. Also, Jimmy the guy is asking, can you give a small tutorial on how to make it ho make it hollow easily? You mean like this? 
Is that what you're talking about? What I did to the pumpkin? Yeah, he was in class when you bullied it out. Yeah. No, no, no. It's all modular. And then there'll be scheduled live interaction. Like, I'll do live critiques and stuff still. And we'll do... Um, uh, you know, we'll do monthly time periods where people can show their work and like we might have discussions on all kinds of things, but there will be a live portion of the class, but it's most, the coursework will be um, modular where you work on your own. I was asking if he could show you something right now. Um, is it a model or is it a, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Well, yeah, so all we did, here's the original, right? See, it's not hollow. I just sculpted this. And then I took the base form. And these are pulled out because, let's divide this. So there's a little bit of high res. There we go. Um, so what I did here is we turn this on, we turn both these on. I put them in a folder. See, they're sitting in their own folder. The pumpkin has start, and this has, see, that's a cutter. And now I'll come in, and I'm gonna use slash, and I'm gonna come in here, and I'm just gonna make sure that, see, you can see the uh, gray there, right? Here, let's turn transparency off, and you can see that and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to go around and make sure what I want behind there to be behind that surface right so I'm going to come up here and cut that in I'm going to come down here and cut this in and I'm just pushing my surfaces behind that secondary surface and you can see that let's turn transparency on go to this guy and you can see that that's giving me my wall thicknesses, right? You can see right here. So I have plenty of wall thickness. I'm just cutting in, coming in and tuning up my cutter. Turn transparency off. And you can double check on this if you want to see what it's going to look like. And you can hit live Boolean. And there you go. That's what it's going to Boolean out like. And that's fine. So I'm going to go live Boolean. You can see that this is a little thin right here. So I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna move this out so that's not quite as thin. So you can really tune your thicknesses and stuff right now. But you see by doing that, I changed the shape of the eye. I'm gonna come back in and make it what I want it. And then I'm going to grab that orbs crack again and just use that to kind of cut that back and away right and now you just go up here turn transparency off I'm going to turn my boolean off it is what I want it to be boolean folder There you go. It's hollow. It's been cut out. It's looking good. Does that make sense? He wants to know how you got a separate poly group for the inside. I masked it off. I just flipped it. 
right? So now I can see that inside surface, I hold down mask. I make sure mask has back face masking turned on and turn symmetry on, come in and just masked it. You want to stay pretty 90 degree with your surface. Otherwise, you'll start painting on the back sides of the other mesh. And now just flip it to make sure you didn't paint through anywhere. See, like we painted through here. We're just going to make that smaller now and get rid of it. And just double check everywhere else. Hit Control W, and now you have two different poly groups. With a hole in the back. Oh, okay. What's it? Sorry, I for sorry, I forgot lag. <laughs> Why I went through the whole process of remeshing? <laughs> oh no, you had the the lag. You turned it around, and we saw you know you're like, and you got a new poly group. And the lag was still going, and it just showed that you turned it around. And there was a hole there. And I'm like, and there you go. What is? Oh, oh. Uh, for your courses, can we purchase the modulars part even after the course is over? Will it be optional for people who just want the modular portion? No, no, no. It's all modular. The All of the course works modular. And then we have like live crits that we'll do. And then there'll be other live sessions of, you know, just review parts or maybe, you know, when the new versions come out, we'll come in and give you a demo of the new stuff. And, you know, there are going to be all kinds of different live events. And I sh I'm going to start streaming regularly with that. So it becomes, yeah. And the course is never over. It's a lifetime membership. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing. A lifetime it's membership. A, yeah. <clears throat> I guess that's the important part to wrap your head around. You're always a member. And you get good discounts with stuff and I mean it's it should be well worth it. I work on the secret handshake. What we haven't taught you the secret handshake? Hmm. Dang it, I'm always the last. <laughs> <laughs> the street secret brush stroke. Yeah. And every model has to have yeah. a <laughs> the secret key strokes. I don't know how late I'm going to be able to make it tonight. My head is killing me. My eyes did that, just did that thing. I'm like, oh. So Skyhole, what it is is, right, you join. It's a lifetime membership. You'll always have access to all the modules and all of the future modules. And um, you become part of the community. And we got it, I think, right there.
What's that? Oh, well, Jeff is asking, is the link to the course the same as the Z classroom link? I'm wondering if he's thinking about the Vertex class and your your new class. Well, just put question. the link up. That's, that's the yeah. easy part. Uh, well, one yeah. way or the other. Um, there is an older link because we had a sort of early site and then we upgraded ourselves and then we changed it. So just the new link is there and that's just easier. Yes. Oh, Jeff is asking the link that we put is the continuous class link, the, the platform we're talking about. And you're like, yeah. Mm. I'm like, yes, sure. <laughs> I, yeah. I just blurred out. I just blurred out yes or no. I'm so used to my kid asking me something constantly, or so. Pumpkin texture. It's just my universal bump. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I just know it prints well, so why not use it, right? <laughs> Yeah, it, it'll, it'll, it'll take a little while. <laughs> I might have cranked it up a little too high. Yeah, no. Remember, rendering is, uh, it'll get you. <laughs> well, you you got to test the limits of that monster of yours to see where it's at. <laughs> yeah, the graphics card's the only place that it's lacking. It's, I'm still on a 980 Ti, but we're on the 30 series with NVIDIA now. Oh. So, did you read the whole thing about NVIDIA's coming up with their own sort of Zoom or whatever? Mm, I know NVIDIA launched a... Maxine or... Uh... I didn't think it was a whole platform though i thought it was just 
a thing that sits in between Zoom and your webcam so it can apply real-time uh, editing to your videos, like green screen effects, but without a green screen. Right. No, oh. I think that they are now launching an entire platform that's supposed to be competitive and it's using, it has all that stuff, but it, look up, tell me if I'm wrong. I think it's called Maxine. Um, and supposedly it uses a lot of that machine learning or AI learning crap to give you, uh, I think they realize that why are we just supporting Zoom when we can just take their business? I think it's what, <laughs> I think how that kind of played out. That could be wrong, but I think. Uh, right now it's just an SDK, so it's going to be a while before it's actually a platform. Hmm. Now for, I mean, because there's a lot of streamers out there now that are, are blue, blue or green screening themselves. Oh yeah, live at you know at the time of you know live streaming. So what are they doing for that? Well, it's video conferencing. It's oh, it's conferencing. yeah, it's a it's a video conferencing thing. Okay, all right, yeah. But Nvidia with the with their latest release with the thirty series, they announced this. Uh, I don't remember them announcing it as a video streaming platform, but the technology behind this, uh, they're they're almost making green screens unnecessary. Yeah. They are doing so much incredible post-processing. Yeah, it's it impressive. It's wild. Oh, the movie industry is going to love that. Well, I don't think they're good. I don't think they're good. Yeah, that good. Yeah. I think it's a little bit more just streamers and... Uh, and uh, Save the rotoscoping time. There you go. Right. <laughs> the creepiest face features is called face reanimation. Uh, it takes like if you're not looking directly at your webcam, it uh, reanimates your eyes and makes it. it Everyone. It reanimates your entire face to be looking at the webcam. Yeah, it's weirder than hell. It's what? sickening. It's so weird. But it's supposed to look. It's supposed oh, you... to look real. You know, I mean. It... Yeah, real enough, but it really enters that. Um... Creepy. For that. <laughs> oh, you gotta share Uncanny that. Valley. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's deep in the Uncanny Valley. It really is. Um. Did you see that, you know, sort of like Apple has the, uh, your little, they're not called emojis. What are they called? Like the ones where you could make yourself a character. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You can do that too. And it'll actually yeah. track your eyes and it'll do your lips and everything. You know, it, it does the face mapping and it applies it to a, whatever the hell those things are called. They're not emoji cons, but you know, the little. Yeah, the little animals. Avatars. Avatars. Yeah. Jesus. So yes. you can set up your avatar so if your hair is bad, you don't have to. <laughs> you can go in as a cartoon. It's funny. People yeah, are just going to start. Sh huh? I would definitely do that. Oh, I know you would. Well, You're streamers are doing that nowadays, too. Yeah, they're, they're getting 3D models of anime girls. And, Great. And, so now the. Yeah. The 30-year-old dudes can really pretend to be 18-year-old girls still. Now you can make some money, Tomas. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can stream as an anime girl doing ZBrush. I'm going to make a fortune. And see, T.S. Wittelsbach can still be whatever I want it to be. <laughs> Try. And then at the end of the stream, you take that model of the jack-o'-lantern head and replace yours with it. I like it. No one will notice. What'd you look up to look up the creepy stuff, Henry? It's just um, Nvidia Maxine. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we're getting pretty close here. 
Let's see what we got here. I like the alien right there. That's awesome. See, like, why is it rendering light inside there? Damn mat caps. <laughs> See, that's the problem with a mat cap as opposed to a uh, as a, as opposed to a actual material. Is there a difference? Yeah, mat, this should read dark inside here. The mat cap has light baked into it, and so if it's facing up, it views it as light. Why is this doing that? Look at that; it's light inside too. Well, that shouldn't do that. I was gonna say it's a different. Um, you've got them different groups. Can you color? Can you add color to the interior one? To well, I mean, I can paint it, but the point is that shouldn't be oh, a right. bright reflective surface. Hmm. Interesting. What do I know? Here, I know what we'll do. We will. All right, so, oh, hold on. I totally forgot to do something that I was going to do. Uh, boop. Oh, God, there's going to be a whole market for 3D guys just to make uh, characters for this thing. Get to work. Right? I thought they were implying that it took a picture of you and made an icon of you. Was I misunderstanding that? It might work both ways. Um. Who knows? Okay, so now we're going to extract. It's pretty cool. It's got a translator. Yeah. I'm bummed I couldn't get my little thing to work. I guess I didn't really try, but. Hey, you're right, that face align looks a little creepy. You need to hide for a second. Where are you? Folder, boom, start, cut, turn transparency off, Boolean folder, I have a Cintiq, so I draw on my tablet. You have to have a tablet to really use ZBrush. There are people who do it with mice, and that's just crazy talk. Crazy talk! Because you have no pressure sensitivity with a mouse. It's either on 100 or off. Yeah, that's just absolutely, <laughs> that's crazy. All right, so we got that now. See, this is where I wish I could, I'm not going to do it because 
my uh, my update was weird, but this is where you can kind of stretch your model like this, and then use um, the gravity brush and have it scrunch a little, and it gives you some pretty cool effects. But I have my gravity set off. It's not really my settings for the dynamics are not great. Um, yeah, I'm always doing something wrong. <laughs> uh, but you can get it and it'll squish down and crush some. And if you do it fast enough, you just get a little bit of it and it makes some really nice, some nice stuff. So what we're going to do before we do this is turn that off, turn symmetry off, grab move elastic, and make my brush a little bigger. <coughs> mm. Wow, wow. Move it around a little. That was too much. That's at 51, isn't it? Mm -mm. Move. Turn that down. And now the other thing we need to do is, hold on, append a pumpkin. And we're going to turn you into a ball. Henry? There he is. Very quickly do a little bit of reading about how to turn one of the objects into a light source. Hey Thomas. Yes. On your um, on your wait, calm there. Did, is the computer does does it slide into a slot on the back? Is it a special slot? Yeah, this one has. Um... That's what I thought. Nobody said it was hard to install the Cintiq engine. No, no, no. You hard just to get the Cintiq engine. Yeah, you just oh, drop it in. Okay. Yeah, they're hard to find. They were just discontinued for a bit. But someone said they have the new ones are out. Is that true? I said that. I saw them for sale on their website a couple months ago, but I haven't seen them since. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they're um, they're hard to find. Oh. Understandable. Now let us. Boop.
because I can never get it to work as a light source. Where I've been having, like, I was shown how to do it at one point. And then uh, split the parts. Yeah, I found it. I'm just making sure I know how to do it. Crap. So turn everybody off. Boom. 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 When you when you split the parts and your mesh blows out like that. Just click the ones you want, say merge visible, and now you get this, and now split the parts again. That'll give you your parts. Come back to this guy and delete all. Boop. And now we have W. I want this to be a plane. Maybe not quite that big a plane. doing what has happened no <laughs> where's my pumpkin okay there's my pumpkin. There's my stem. Why is my stem not showing? Oh my god. Delete all. Uh, okay, so, so far the answer is nah. What do you mean nah? It's, uh, it's quite a process. And if you really want me to walk you through it step by step, I can, but woof. Can't you just take an object and decide it as a light object? Not that I've found. Not yet. It's... There's a lot of baking involved. No, 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 no. No. Oh. No, you can, you can make an object and... Um, here, hold on. Append. While you're doing that, we've got someone asking, are you planning any workshops anytime soon? Well, I'm starting my website in second week of November. So um, we're going to try to get that up and going. Um, and, you know, do you mean a class when you say a workshop? Is that what you mean? Or do you mean like um, just doing something for... Like when I do something for form labs or something like that, is that? All right, what the hell?
goodness gracious. How big is this pumpkin? What the, what's going on with that? A one millimeter pumpkin. What's the world coming to? It's a little better. So, what I need to do auto group. What happens if you apply the uh, colorized glow material and then just render? Well, that's what I'm saying. There's a way to just, the, you can change in your materials up to the right when you have a material on. It'll say like metallics, this, 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 and then it says light. And you can say like directional panel or something like that. And you can turn an object into a light source. And it's not, it's not that melodramatic. Um, Oh, Madeline covers that in her genome thing. Um, genome. Nomen. Nomen, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. I was just like, genome. You've said genome like once or twice, and I'm like, what in the hell is he talking about? But now I think I understand. In the Nomen thing, yeah. A lot of people around here call it genome. Genomen. Nope, it's so, Nomen. <laughs> Nomen, I know, but I, they've got me saying it. Like, it's it's all good. It's, it's garden gnome, man. Gnome. No. It's gnome land. <laughs> but yeah, she covers that in her introduction to ZBrush. Um, <laughs> like, what in the hell is going on? It? What? Uh -huh. oh, did I find it? No, I remember it. I couldn't tell you what chapter it's in in, in it. Because there's like 57 chapters or 68 chapters, depending on which one you're, you've got. Wow, that's it? <laughs> Yeah, I know, yeah. Only 58 chapters? She so, produces yeah. a... That's a... Yeah. Yeah, I so like, what is that time. about? What is going... Oh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, when you said directional light panel, that keyed it into my head. I was like, oh, yeah. I've seen that somewhere. And she does make it look easy. Yeah, no, it, it's not hard. Um, you just... Okay. If I can get to my... See, what I want to know... What do I have? Oh, I have this damn solo on. That's what's screwing me up. I'm like, why am I only seeing one thing? Uh, because solo's on you. Jackass. You jackass. 20. 20. Um, cameras. Is it in cameras? So we're going to take that. No, it's in materials. Hold on. No, I mean, um, her, her thing of teaching what, what you're oh. trying to do. I'm trying and to uh, we're going to take this. Split the parts. Okay. Boom. We're going to take you. We're going to turn you into a ball. And you. No. 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 You know, this is one thing about Scale Master that makes me crazy is that it can do just some of the weirdest garbage. Materials. Oh, I know you're messing with me now. I know. You're taking money from me, so I know you've still got me on there. <laughs> You're taking money from me. I know I'm there. 
Right, my subscription's still good because you just took money from me. Oh my god, how many times am I going to do this? Resize subtool. Like, why are you doing that? That's not what that says. Sliders to subtools. Turn R on. Type in 10. Push enter. Make sure all's not on. Resize subtool. Whatever you're on about. Because that is no longer 10 millimeters. How can. See, this is. <laughs> okay. Okay. It mm -hmm. might be in your double shader slot stuff. One sec. Okay, so here. We have this guy, we have this guy, we have this guy. Let's actually grab you and just bring you down here and kind of tilt you like that and tilt you like that. And we're going to bring you about there. Okay. So now... Um, we are going to go. Everybody's there. Preferences. I mean, render. External renderer. Re render. Key shot. Oh, I pulled that button out. <laughs> Boop. What? Oh, that's right. Key shot only lets you do it on one thing. Oh my God. So I can't even render after all that. <laughs> you can best possible render, but you can't key shot render. So BPR render, but not key shot. Well, I mean, yes. I forgot that. Oh my God. This is just going to be one of those days, isn't it? So if I turn this into a material, hmm. Thank you, Henry. I was just kidding there. Very, very frustrating that was. Where's my paintbrush? ZBrush. Pixelogic's going to look at me on this stream and go, what is wrong with you, Tomas? <laughs> what has, doesn't usually light up. What has happened to you? You are a mess. And it's true. I'm a mess. Uh, fill object. Dang it. Yeah, it's either in one chapter on materials or one chapter on environmental lighting, but environmental lighting, it starts off in talking about key shot rendering, but she's still in, still in uh, the in ZBrush interface. So I would have to sit here and go through all of this. No, they, don't worry about it. You know what? I can't even, I can't even do it. I can't do it. Like, I just filled this color. Fill object. Oh, there it goes. And now I'm going to come out here. Turn that friggin' lazy mouse off. Hmm. 
about the reflectivity. Material. I swear to goodness. <laughs> I know they just love it when I demo things that I know nothing about. They're just like, why do you do that to <laughs> Just Can you just tell us why you decided it was okay to demo that? Because we just want you to know. It's really not okay, man. Because <laughs> you really make it look like, like that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it works fine. Oh, yeah, I know it works for someone else. <laughs> it's sad. It really is. Yeah, I forgot the key shot doesn't let you, because I had it on this machine for a little while, um, but it doesn't let you have it on two machines, which is a little annoying. But... Is it key shot you can't install on two machines or it's one machine per bridge and you'd have to buy two bridges? No, no, no. They don't let they don't let you um they don't want you doing it on multiple like I can deactivate there's a process where you can deactivate it and reactivate it online. You know, you mm -hmm. can uh, but you have to deactivate it first. Mm -hmm. So I would have had to deactivate it at home before I came. And I forgot. So needless to say, that's not happening. So we just get me doing a goofy uh, hand painted one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, there's there's two ways. There's two things that I was looking at that you may pull out your materials panel and go through all of those sliders and no, no, no. you. It's literally just a drop down menu. It, it, it's it's not hard. It's it's a pretty wow. simple process if I remember right cuz Mike showed me and um Mike Thompson is just like oh a zebra yeah. his painting is amazing. And so one day he sat with me for like 3 hours and got me up and running and working and then then I updated, you know, when it was right after that, that, you know, look at me. I can't believe I used symmetry on this. This is not, everyone, this is not how you do pupils. Okay. If you'll notice, they're all facing, they're facing in opposite directions. That's very bad form. <laughs> Just so you know, very bad form. 
Oh well, bad form. And I guess because my lighting isn't doing it, I have to do it. I wish they had wet brush so you could just do like that and it just paint in the crevice. Oh, you know what we could do though? Watch this. Masking. Auto masking. Come on. You can do it. Auto masking. Auto. Oh. Cavity mask. So how do I get? Where is it? Hmm. What? Why isn't my cavity mask approachable? Anyone? Eric would know. Why I can't get my cavity mask to work? Well, I know about the other thing you're trying to figure out. Um, feasibly. He's not awake right now. Oh, okay. Oh, you meant ask him right now? Oh, yeah, no. He's yeah. not. <laughs> No. I just thought he was awake. We're awake. Why is he not awake? Because he has a real life and a real schedule. <laughs> and he's doing like 14 projects at one time. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to make time for sleep. Yeah. See now, why is this all lagging again? Damn it. Oh well. I guess no one's getting an impressive paint job for me. I don't know why my mask by cavity isn't working either. That's super weird. Shoot, what time is it in England? <laughs> Mm. Get a, get hey Siri, what time is it in London? It's 8.12 a.m. in London, England. It's 8.12 a.m. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I think they're nine hours. Yeah. Well, I guess that just showed us it was eight hours, didn't it? Oh. What's that? Oh, sorry, that was an audible yawn there. Sorry. No, 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 that's cool. I thought you were asking a question. Yeah, where's the chief? <laughs> He's an old gummer. Don't poke me in the eye. No, he don't have no teeth. He's an old gummer. <laughs> when I was a kid. Yeah, the candy corn. <laughs> now I will. I didn't save my poly groups Grr. will it let me mask by color mask color mask Very sad. My complete inability to function normally. I, I, I really think a lot of my issues are I need a clean install. 
because my last update when I installed it it didn't I didn't do it quite correctly and I blew it because if you notice up there in the corner it does not say 2021.2 it says 2111 but I've installed 2222 so it's like uh, It's very frustrating when I do things poorly. And it's all my fault. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's no one's fault but mine. I assure you on that. Hey, Henry, when you reinstall like that or you update, you got to make a new shortcut on your front for the new 20, you know, for the new executable, or does it replace that? Because I think it just erased mine and I had to make a new one. Uh, it definitely makes a new one on its own. I'm not oh. sure if it adds a new one or if it replaces it, but... Yeah. Okay. I remember it just, yeah, it took it off my taskbar, but then it was on my desktop, and I just had to reapply it to my taskbar. So... Bastards. Because, <laughs> like, with go. Photoshop, with Adobe stuff, if you, if you put a new one up there and the update is a completely new version, it will install the new version and then throw another one up there, uh, and throw a, another, you know, uh, sh uh, shortcut, you know, slash executable on your desktop, but the old one will be there, and if you hit the old one, it will use the old, the older program. Yeah. Because I, I remember I had, at one point I had, like, uh, CS, CS2, and CS4 somehow, and I couldn't figure out why I was going all like my Photoshop interface kept changing every time. You're like, what is going on here? Yeah, I was like, what in the world is going on? And, Little uh, did you I, know. Yeah, my buddy was like, he he came over and he clicked it and he goes, like, why do you have, why do you have CS over here and CS4 over here and and how do you have that? You're like, well, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm special. Yeah, I just, I assumed that it erased them all and used the same one. And we go in and sure enough, I've got three different Photoshops installed on my, <laughs> on my system. Yeah, I think I still have like a lot of ZBrushes installed. <laughs> Actually, probably not as bad here as I have at home. I never uninstall things. I'm just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Site says sorry for late. I sent that sent that file. Name hmm. Blade of Olympus. All right, let's take a look. Let me get farther along on that real quick. My OCD isn't going to let me stop right this second. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should just put one Tufus right there. Just one old guy Tufus. One, yeah. Chomper. You could put pumpkin seed teeth. Oh, there you mm. go. Put weird gummo teeth in there. You can do it. Introduction of Substance Painter 2020. Oh, That's another one I gotta learn. Oh, well, there you go. That doesn't look very best to me. Good that, as you're gonna get. That's, that's your best? <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Well, you can go on to, you can pull the sliders down and mess with the uh, Specularity and a few other things in there. Yeah, for BPR. I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, okay. Uh, like, what's that weird stuff right there? Bizarro. Who knows? All right. We'll make a toothless in a second. Load tool. This is my library. 
Hmm. Oh, you know why this machine's so full? This thing's backing all these things up onto my machine. I don't need all this crap on this machine. Be careful what you set things at. See all these green folders? All those are like on my computer now. That's very, oh. that's frustrating. <clears throat> yeah, Noma Workshops has got a new 2020 substance painter introduction. Yeah, that's good. Oh, someone's saying, sorry for the dumb question, but what is the thing in the top right corner called? You mean this thing right here? Is that what you're talking about? Um, I don't know. They're just uh, top right corner. No, no, this isn't gizmo. This is just a view picker. It allows you to pick front, back, top, bottom, left, right. I think the technical name for it in ZRush terms is cam view. What did I say? Picker. Yeah, something picker. No, oh. <laughs> it's picker. It's picker. Yeah. You say I want to ask you something about texture. Yeah. First of all, I can't get rid of this. This needs to be white. All right, we'll look at it this way. That's fine. And what is your question? Yeah, I think, once again, you're just cutting some of these details in, like these. I would definitely take these and make them go behind one another. There we go. What is Mari? Yep, this is not symmetrical. That's first thing. <laughs> or it's not in the center of the world. Hold on. There we go. What is what? Oh, I was looking up. And I thought someone was using Substance Painter, and they're using something called Mari. I'm like, oh, great. There's another one out there. I think Mari is part of um, the company that bought Moto. Um, the Foundry? Oh, yeah. I think it's one of their tools, if I'm not mistaken. What it does, I have no clue. And then when you actually turn your materials on. It's not just a line. You're getting nice steep. See here, you're seeing both. And see how confusing that is. See how that's just a bright line and it's just a line. And all you're seeing is a flat surface there. Where if you cut the surfaces back and in, these become dynamic surfaces as opposed to just drawn on lines. Stop drawing lines on. Use cutbacks. See how much more kinetic that is? And that works for all the surfaces. You know, I understand you kind of want that separation. But that's just more kinetic, and you're getting your dark shadow here, where when it's just cut in, 
see how you're getting all these other lines you're getting that bright line down there and you get this bright line there if you just come in and do that you can see that you're getting a much cleaner light dark light dark does that make sense well I know well um, the foundry software is is real I mean like ILM uses it. Um, it was actually one of the the line producers at I, ILM that convinced um, the Foundry and um, and Moto to join. So I don't I, like. I said I don't I don't do that. You know I, I do manufacturing stuff, but um, I read the article so because. Before ZBrush had um, Z Modeler, I used Moto to build all my base forms. And so, you know, I still have Moto. I mean, I haven't upgraded forever. Well, since they came out with um, Z Modeler, but I still get all their emails and stuff. And, um, yeah, no, that software package is no joke. I mean, like ILM and places like that use it. So it's real. Cool. Wait, did I lose all my paint? <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh no, it's just the wrong model. Hold on, there we go. Like what? What are you doing? What are you doing, you goof? What is going on up here? Like I said, I've, I've used the Foundry software and it's good stuff, but I, I don't know enough about rendering to help you on that one. I'm sorry. All right. Let's... I guess I need to do a two fist. Is that what we were going on about? <laughs> Sorry guys, my head's killing me. I'm trying to trying to stay on top of this a little bit. I'm fading in and out myself too. I just I feel like I've been kicked in the skull. Oh wait, look, I'm sculpting teeth again. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a career in sculpting teeth. Hmm. How are those meds treating you? Oh, man. I stopped taking the pain meds a few days ago just to get off of them to, you know, see if I can do it. It's unpleasant, but I'm alive. I'm not all hopped up on the drugs. No, that's so. good. 
Yeah. It's never good when you're hopped up on the drugs. Right, right. Just gonna say that's just never a good thing. So everyone else do a prescription or a surgery. <laughs> just because <laughs> we're on pixelogen, like, oh, now they're talking about hopped up on drugs. <laughs> That'll get us in trouble. No. Trust me, they're, <laughs> they're not used to be saying stupid crap. I think that uh, <laughs> I try to do my best. I really do. Oh, it's Thomas's. It's, it's Thomas's cast. They're, they're the outsiders to begin with. <laughs> it's, just, it's dumber than a rock. I think is more the point. <laughs> Stuff is going to be said. We just, it's a given. <laughs> I, I, I've gotten pretty good, I think. I mean, I don't, I'm not quite so. Uh... Yeah, you have gotten a lot better. Oh, no, man. You you don't know me back in the day when I first started teaching classes. Holy Hannah. It was special. What are you doing? Oh, my God. This is getting really frustrating. Holy, holy, holy Hannah. Shloop, yeah. Shloop. <laughs> That's one big doofus. <laughs> hey, hold on. We need a few little scrapes in that. That's a little too smooth. That's a really big brush you got there. Man, I think the big nugget made it. Unless you got put more than one nugget, I mean. Yeah, you got to give him like a little chiclet teeth now. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. Color, color, color. Fill object. And now we're gonna take that darker. Where's my paintbrush? Paintbrush! Come on. See, my, my pen won't calibrate. Or it was calibrated, and then everybody updated it, and that, oh, that's going to make me so crazy. <laughs> See how it won't? Here, yeah, it's <sighs> janky. <sighs> so how much do your guys is how 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 much do your guys is Cintiqs weigh? Are they Thirty two pounds. Is it? I think it's well, in that have, Yeah, mine's like twenty eight pounds or something. But yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Because my my old one that I've got is it's pretty pretty hefty. So yeah, I think I think that it's um in that twenty pound range tw or high. Tw wait, why are you doing that? Right. Okay. I was led to believe that the uh, the newer versions that you guys got are uh, way lighter. Uh, no, I don't think they're way lighter. Funny thing is, when I bought mine, I was, you know, I ordering it from Wacom, and I was like, asking the guy, I'm like, all right, are you, are you guys coming out with any new tech in the next year? No, any new tech at all? Two years? No, no, we're, we're not working on anything. This is gonna be, we're not gonna change anything for a long while. Okay, mm -hmm. for sure, yeah. Not gonna make a touch screen. Not gonna make it high def. None of that stuff. This is as good as it gets right now. This is as good as it's going to get for a few years. Okay, fine. So then I bought mine. Right? I'm like, all right. Three days later. <laughs> Three days later. Well, literally, it was the next week as, as, as mine got there and I opened it. I'm like, yeah. And then I look up, you know, updating my drivers. New touchscreen coming out. 
in uh, two weeks. Yeah. I was like, oh, you. Ah. That's. I'll tell you. That's. I will tell you. That's unusual behavior for. Um, yeah, that's. Yeah. That's, for walk on, yeah. they're usually pretty. Uh, pretty. Um, pretty straightforward. Yeah. So I. I just. I was like. I must have gotten a new guy. That's all I could think. That's. <laughs> and that's why you buy off Amazon. <laughs> You could have just returned it. Ah. Good point. Good point. Well, with Wacom, with Wacom, I could have prob I, I honestly probably could have been like, hey, I just bought this from you a week and a half ago. I asked the salesman if something new was coming out because I would have waited. And, uh, and he said no. And I asked him multiple times, check the recording on the phone. And, uh, and he said no, so I bought it, and then a week and a half later, you came out with a new product that I would have bought, and they and they probably would have done the same thing. They probably would have been like, hey, you know what? Pack it up, send it back. We'll we'll just do that. I mean, they, they're that's... they're a pretty responsible company, yeah. honestly. Yeah, they're they're awesome sauce, but I've never never had problems with them, and I've had Cintiqs for a long time. Yeah. But I think a touchscreen Cintiq would just be more of a pain in the butt. I um, yeah, I can't use touchscreens; they make me nuts. Especially for this. I mean, because if you're using your pen interface, and your your. But they're really good for web browsing. Yeah, because your guys, is, are they touchscreen or not? They're not touchscreen, right? Oh, I intentionally got the not touchscreen. One. Yeah, I intentionally got the not right. touchscreen, too. Right, yeah. My two other monitors are touchscreen. Oh, yeah. How do Mine you dig are. that, What did you say? I said, how do you dig that, the, the touchscreen monitors? It's great. Monitors. It's great, because I've got this Cintiq in front of me taking up most of the desk space. And then, like, when I want to search for references on Google or want to change YouTube videos or whatever, I can just reach up and touch the screen without having to find the mouse and wiggle it around. Right. Yeah. No, like I said, for web browsing, touch screen's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, just, I just honestly think Henry just sits there and is, like, cyberpunked out, just touching screens and doing stuff with this monster computer on the wall projecting a light show <laughs> just, you know you never know what's going on over there right. he's an elusive creature you're not Johnny, supposed to know what's going on Johnny Mnemonic if you know there. he'd have to kill you alright or you might go mad you might just go mad from it <laughs> it's like Cthulhu right right like one of his screens just actually turns into a keyboard. He just types directly on it. No, you jackass. And all the Cintiqs do that, turn into a keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Mine turns yeah, into a Volkswagen. And yeah. sings to me. Yeah. That's what I heard anyway. No. <laughs> 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 Yep, just keep at it, Stefan, man. You'll get there. I saved for three years for this one. Yeah, it, they're, they're worth it. They're amazing. Yeah, I Why like... everything at 51? My, my first Wacom was the old gray... 20... Pintos. Oh, yeah. It it. 12 by 12 when they made it 12 by 12 which is the wrong size. Never get a square Wacom pad, ever. And, uh, because the size ratio doesn't work. And everything gets distorted on your stroke. And that was forever. Then I, I got the first Intos, Intos, and then I had that until I had, until I got this. And yeah, the world of difference. It's a religious experience. There you go. Now he has teeth. Is everyone happy? Everyone happy with the teeth? 
<laughs> oh no, are you? <laughs> wow. There's a little, little hostel there. <laughs> Wow, oh, Henry, that is awesome sauce. I was testing um, 4K at 99% quality with 256 samples just to see. Did it just get finished from when you started it? Yeah, hour and 17 minutes. How's it look? Beautiful. Pretty good. Yeah. Wow. How does my Discord icon keep moving? I do not understand that. That's your gremlin. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, see, the thing about gyms is that you really need to make a gym pass and light it differently oh, sure. you know that's how it's uh, it's a pain in the butt but it's true where'd you get the and gem I'm using box an absolutely nonsense material yeah where'd you get the gem box uh, i downloaded it from keyshot oh really yep <laughs> who knew yeah they've got a bunch of um models up there well see we learn something new every day don't we Document, let's change our background color. No. Document. Already paying dividends there, man. That's cool. Who, who, who's paying me for that? No, I said it's I'm already getting paid. Paying Mike's that. paying me. <laughs> That's what I heard. I just heard that. The knowledge, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That really is outstanding, though, for... That's... Wow. That's one of Tomas's silvers. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was um, the first ring I ever submitted to him for crit. Oh, cool. Before I took the class and learned what divisions were, subdivisions. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da! What time is it? All right. I think I might Almost. have to quit early tonight. My head's killing me. Yeah, man. If you're gonna, if you're getting a bad, you still gotta drive home and everything. Oh. Uh, work to do tomorrow. Yeah. I know. I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. We got some emails to send. Oh, we had, did we write an email? No, you. <laughs> it's we. It almost worked. I'm pretty yeah. sure you paused for like half a second. You were like, "Wow, I should put that on my list for me to do." I know that went through your head. <laughs> I put it. I put it on Monday.com and assigned for, it to you. And assigned it to you. Oh my God! If we're depending on me to to write, we're in trouble. Uh, all right, so. I have to I have to leave it like this so they can take a picture of it and put it there up as go. a with the rest a, of the Yeah. Yeah, my my uncles are more Indian than I, so growing up when I would do <laughs> when Did you see Smokey was like, damn it, I was exporting a model and while listening to you I named it Teeth. I do stuff <laughs> like that all the time, man. Like words will come into my head and I'll write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be interrupt. Oh no, 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 that's funny, yeah. No, I was just saying that um, they are more Indian than I, and when I was growing up, I would say we, and they'd be like, who's that? What's with this we shit, white man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the good old, that whole old period of uh, the Lone Ranger and Tonto jokes. Yeah. 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 All right, hold on. So we need to go to YouTube. Pixel. So there you go. Your thumbnail shall now be a pumpkin as well. Yeah, see, every. Well, well where are theirs? 
videos. See, he did a pumpkin. And then, where's the other pumpkin? Somebody Thanks. else. Mike, Mike did a pumpkin down there. And then we got oh, yeah. Shane and... Michael did a pumpkin. Yeah, Shane, Shane did a pumpkin. I thought uh, Pablo did a pumpkin. Pablo did a pumpkin. See, so... So his isn't showing See, up. See, he got his to light up. Uh, well, oh yeah, I couldn't get mine to light up because I couldn't get a rendering in. But he's okay. He's dark. So maybe he poly painted it. No, no, no. He used oh. a rendering tool that had lights. <laughs> Remember, I can't. I couldn't do that. <laughs> the technical guy knew the technical way of doing it. So, and then uh, let's see. Ashley will be on Thursday. I'm going to badger her to do a pumpkin. <laughs> if she doesn't do one, I'll be like, you should do a pumpkin. <laughs> Everyone else did. I know. <laughs> oh, that's not paintbrush, is it? And it's too light. I want that darker. There we go. take that into Photoshop and then do all the other stuff to it. Yeah. Master renderer over here. Not going to happen. Oh, Photoshop's my jam, man. Send it over to me. What do you want? <laughs> there we go. There it is. Let me move my my little guy over here. There we go. Here. Here's my rendering engine. Watch. <laughs> Print screen. <laughs> At least I didn't take a picture of it with my phone. <laughs> I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> no, my entire Instagram is all just me taking pictures of my screen with my phone. I am the most ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right. I mean, that's absurdity at its finest. I have like, you know, <laughs> I can't even say it. It's so stupid. Okay. That's awesome. Angry pumpkin. All right. Well, kind and gentle folk, my head's killing me. I, I feel like I've been kicked in the face. So uh, I'm going to end this stream earlier than usual. I apologize. I'll be here next week. Oh. Mm. Yeah, right. What's his name? Kicked him in the face. That's his name. Enough of that nonsense. <laughs> All right, kind and gentle folk, have a wonderful evening and uh, morning, afternoon, as it may be. And then I will see you next Monday. Thank you, Pixelogic. And thank you, everyone, for being here and hanging out. And yeah, if you don't have ZBrush, there's a free download so you can try it for a while i think it's 30 days or something like that it used to be 40 something days it was crazy um anything else you got me I got a headache 
Oh, it's 45 days? Yeah, I knew it was something like that. It's awesome sauce. Okay. I'm out. I can barely see straight. <laughs> I'm old right. and broken. Good night, Thomas. Good night, everyone. Have a good, good night, one. night, Henry. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Let me OBS stop.